shit. Mine up. <clears throat> Get it shared out and go from there, everybody. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> oh, my allergies are kicking up. Man, this shit, everybody. Okay. <coughs> All right. So uh, let us officially begin said day session. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Byron? How are you doing today, bro? Oh, I met hi no, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. What's up, bro? Alright, we are connected to the internet and going from there. Byron with the like. Much love to you, Byron. <clears throat> oh, how you doing today, bro? Alright. Let's go. Not run into <laughs> let's try not to run into a Pokemon. And get some of these dens up and going, my man. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, we got Danielle with like. What's up, Danielle? Ooh, there we go. First <clears throat> one of the day. Daniel says play. What's up, Daniel? All right, let's get these raids officially started on a good note today. There we go. <laughs> Byron says, just been watching YouTube all morning. I was watching that last night. I was watching some YouTube on some uh, some different stuff. Um, Dakota and I were playing our Seven Days to Die, and we finally got electricity. The problem is neither of us know how to do it, and he can't do it because his intelligence in the game isn't high enough, so I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll have to look it up. So I was watching videos on how to do that, and uh, I think I have a pretty good idea of how to do it, so I stayed up for a little bit. And in fact, just woke up, and uh, just got up and uh, got ready to stream. Byron says, got my Hogwarts download done. Nice, bro. I know you're looking forward to it. I know you are definitely, definitely looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to uh, the Greninja raids that come out this week. Really, really looking forward to those. Oh, uh, goodness. My allergies are also kicking my ass today. Like, if it, you see me, guys, if you guys see me rubbing my eyes a lot, I apologize. It's because, like, <laughs> my allergies are just. Literally kicking my dick in the dirt today. Oh, man. Oh, but yeah, we're going to do some raids. Then some shiny hunting. And everything like that. Uh, Byron says, I'm going to switch over to my Switch. Give me like 5-10 minutes. Alright, no worries, bro. No worries or rush at all, my man. Oh, goodness. Yeah, the only reason we didn't go live yesterday, too, was, like, I woke up super late. I was so tired that I did. I even went to bed early. Then I wake up until noon, I was like, 
Yeah, nah. I'm just gonna take today off. I was so tired. Like, uh... I was... I was exhausted. Daniel says, so excited for the Hogwarts game. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And, and, thanks to Byron here, Danielle, he is getting you a copy. We got Shackles in. Welcome in, Shackles. And how are you doing today, dude? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and ready up since we do have somebody for this raid. And then just wait until the time goes out. This is our first one. We got Danielle in as well. We got three out of four. We got room for one more. And remember, guys, doesn't matter how new or how old you are to the community, you're welcome to do that. Hey, Jeff, good morning. Jeff, <coughs> I do have something for you today. Since you uh, weren't able to make it to Shiny Sunday, we set aside a couple of eggs for you, my man. So you do get a couple of shiny eggs today. We'll do it probably after this raid, dude. So I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> uh, Byron says, I'll, send, uh, I'll either send you money somehow, Daniel, or if you're on Xbox, I could buy a card, send you a pic with the code. I get paid next Friday. Yeah, she has the Xbox Series um, <clears throat> S, the all-digital one, my man. So she is on Xbox. She is on Xbox. We got Peyton with the like. Good morning, Peyton. And we got Jeff with the like. Good morning, Jeff. <clears throat> Peyton says, good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Peyton. How are you doing, bro? And Jeff says, oh, awesome. Much appreciated. You're welcome, man. Like I said, I try to make everything as fair as possible, my guy. All right. Danielle says, okay, sweet. I'm on Xbox. Thank you so much. Yes, much, much love to Byron. He originally offered it to me. I couldn't accept it. And I'm like, you know what? Uh, Give it to Danielle. Give it to Danielle. She's hardworking. She's my right hand. My best friend. So, uh, give it to her. Daniel <laughs> says, shit, I forgot to change Pokemon. Ah, it's no worries. It's no worries. We got this. I believe in us. Uh, we got James with the like. Good morning, James. How are you doing today, dude? <clears throat> uh... Byron says, Blake, don't forget to send me that Pokemon you want for Greninja so I can get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Gastrodon. Um, and I'll look up the move list of what I think would be really, really good for it. So, yeah. I got you, man. I've just been super, super busy lately. Everybody. And I apologize. I've been helping uh, Daniel over on TikTok, uh, which has been really, really fun, actually. Me and her have been doing that. Uh, I am doing the Elite Four stuff on such as does Discord, so I have to get Pokemon for that. And then doing my own stuff here, as well as, like, off-stream stuff, like cleaning, and this and that. So, I've been a busy, busy boy, guys. Uh, in fact, I have messages right now that I have not even answered yet today. Like, I have not answered any messages yet, so it's just been busy for me. <clears throat> but yeah, Greninja comes out this Friday, and, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to do. <clears throat> Uh, Byron says, besides them stupid hack people, what weird hoes. Dude, yeah. Oh, wait, Byron, I think Byron's been over there. Yeah, like, uh, over on Daniel's TikTok, some people have been going like, oh, they're hacked, oh, they're this and that. And we've just been blocking them. We've just been banning them from her TikTok stuff. But it's been going really, really well for her over there. And I'm super, super proud of her. And also, I like helping her out. What can I say? Ooh. But you know what this also means, guys? Uh, as soon as Greninja officially releases, we will be able to give out some uh, Froakies shiny. So that'll be a lot of fun, too. So we have a new Pokemon we'll be able to give out for you guys. <coughs> I died. <laughs> hey, morning, Donovan. Donovan with the like, and he also says, morning, everyone. Morning to you, my man. How are you doing today? Uh, Daniel says, had a dude go and comment hacks on a video. It was only dude giving issues. Yeah, we've had... Yeah, I remember that. We've had a couple of people that's like, nope, not hacked. And then one person was literally just spamming, begging for this one Pokemon over and over and over again. It's like, dude, we have over 100 people watching right now, my guy. Like, we're trying our best here. Just give us a little... Just give a little bit. Uh... Congratulations, we beat that one, but no Urban Mystica, that's alright. Uh, Byron says, I usually just lurk in her streams because when she goes live, 
It's usually when my girlfriend's off work and watch her show. So yeah, oh, dude, it's all good, man. It is all good. I'm sure she just appreciates you even lurking, my man. Either way, much love to you for following her over on TikTok, dude. Uh, <clears throat> for some reason, <clears throat> dude, I think this is kind of funny. Uh, you guys know, I don't really use TikTok, but I had to make one for Danielle and for Sir Chester. Yeah, people call me Daddy Blake over there, too. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. Donovan says, you handled it great, man. Hey, much love to you, Donovan. Much, much love to you. Byron says, I try to give, I try to give, like, 300 likes. So, hey, much love to you, dude. I'm tapping it until my thumb can't take it anymore. To the point of where, like, okay, I have to start paying attention to, uh, Chet. Byron says, need to still, and I still need to follow Sir Chester. Uh, all right, sweet, bro. Yes. Like, those are the only two people, um. I think I'm following Colton as well, because he just kind of popped up, and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll follow him, why not? He's a, he's a supporter here on the page, so I'll do that, why not? <clears throat> but either way, uh, yeah, I saw some of you guys over there. Uh, it took me a while to realize, like, oh, this is who this is, and this is who he is, and things like that, so. Uh, things like that. Uh, Daniel said, stream had, like, 20k, like, I gave as many as I could. At one point, like, when I stopped clicking, it was, like, 800 plus, and I was like, I can't do this anymore, my thumb hurts. Donovan says, can I call you tight? I mean, I can't stop you, Donovan, apparently. Like, that's just what I'm known for it now, is apparently, uh, being Daddy Blake, and I hate it. <laughs> but either way, yeah, I don't care at this point. All right, so let's go up here. Let me check this one out. Byron says, that's the main thing I don't, uh, I like about Facebook. You can see people's real names and not some weird username. Yeah, same. That's why I like it as opposed to, like, uh, TikTok and, um, Twitch. That is one thing I definitely like it about, uh, compared to those. It makes saying the names, too, a lot easier. And one thing that sucks is, like, uh, you guys know, like, I use my real life name, um, when it comes to, like, giving out stuff, doing raids, and this stuff like that with you. There is somebody over there who has the same name as me. And, like, people thought it was me backing out. So, like, uh, we had to, like, clear up the confusion of, like, nope, nope, it's not me. It's uh, somebody else doing it. And that's why I got to the point of where on Danielle's stuff, um, I had to start saying, like, hey, this person with the win, congratulations. So that way people knew, like, if they got the other me, uh, the other one with my name, that it wasn't me, then I'm not going to back out. Uh, Daniel says, I might do Facebook stream today. Okay, Daniel, you know I'll be there to uh, support, have the call up, and just have a good time, Daniel. All right, so let's see. Let's go here and go from there. Um, Jeff, if you are still here... As soon as I find a five-star one, I will get the code up and get you your shiny ones that we saved for you from Shiny Sunday, my man. And, Danielle, don't forget, I still need mons before your next TikTok one to give out to help you out with that. Uh, Byron says, I found an extra Kevin Bacon in my box. Of course you did, man. Of fucking course you did. Oh, good God. That was that was probably one of the funniest damn Pokemon I've ever seen. Jeff says, yep, uh, I'm here just doing uh, some day trading while watching. All right, man. All right. So, so like I said, as soon as I find a five-star, my man, we'll get the code up and uh, get you you two shiny eggs. Okay, so no to that one. Uh, Daniel says, I have someone Scarlet I could give you. All right, sweet, Daniel. Sweet. That way we can get everything good and trade it out. So that way when we do uh, your TikTok stuff, I believe you said you were going to do that Wednesday. Um, I will have stuff to be able to give out to your community over there. All right. So like I said, trying to find a five star right now. We beat the first one stupid, stupid fast. Uh, Byron says, are you shiny hunting today? Uh, possibly. Um, we probably might. I'm not sure as to what will shiny hunt yet, but yeah, that's a high possibility of shiny hunting today. There we go, five star. Okay, before we get that five star, though, uh, Jeff, good sir, 
if you would not mind, put in 0035, good sir, so we can get you a shiny Pokemon. Because Jeff did, uh, did come in but uh, for Shiny Sunday, but he didn't have enough time to be able to do that. Byron with the Sheriff, much love to you, Byron. He didn't have um, enough time that Shiny Sunday uh, to be able to do any sort of trade, so I saved him a couple. Let's see. Shackles. Yes, that's Jeff. Okay, so let me see where exactly I put those Pokemon. Give me one second, Jeff. Daniel says, you should use code uh, 80008. It looks like boo. It does look like boob. All right, there we go. There's his exit. I saved him. All right, so here's his first one. I got to reorganize these boxes later today, too, guys, because they have been messy for God knows how long. I need to do some organizing. And also, uh, the Maridon we have in the bottom corner, that is for Martin. In which I did have more cried on Marida, but those were all given away on Danielle's uh, TikTok uh, stuff. So I was able to give out all of those for her. Alright, there we go. Charmander. And then we have this one for him as well. Oh, goodness. Grape. That's all I. The, uh, you're making me feel like a kid again. Like, <laughs> get a calculator out. Eeb. All right, but there we go. We got Jeff here. His two shiny eggs. <coughs> oh, goodness. Hey, what's up, Bearded Vet? Bearded Vet says it's cold outside. Bro, I wish it was cold today. It is kind of average today. Not cold, not hot. But all right, congratulations, Shackles. Or Jeff, I should say. On E Shiny X, good sir. It's all right. Now we got Jeff here. His stuff. We're going to get this right up and just kind of go from there, chat. There we go. Like I said, I probably will trade uh, with Danielle at some point in this uh, stream as well. We got Bearded Vet with the like. Much love to you, Bearded Vet. Uh, so that way I have stuff for uh, or TikTok stuff when she does that. I believe tomorrow, everybody. Tomorrow. So we're doing it every other day if we have the schedule down for her stuff. Uh, Jeff says, thanks, brother. Much appreciate. Hey, you are welcome. And just let us know what you hatched, dude. Just let us know what you hatched. Because like I said, I try to make everything fair here. You did come in, but you did, and you did let us know like you weren't able to get them, so I saved you too. Uh, we got uh Warden with the light. What's up, Warden? How are you doing today, dude? We got Jeff back in. Excuse me, guys. Oh, again, I can't help when I burp. It's it's actually part of one of my medical stuff. We got Byron in. What's up, Byron? Hey, we got room for one more person, chat. Jeff says, I will hatch them after this. Alright, sweet, bro. Sweet. No rush or worries. I just hope you get something good that you wanted. Hopefully something new. Like I said, we had a lot of people watching for Shiny Sunday, without a doubt. Like, it was it was a really, really good Shiny Sunday. Like, I had a lot of fun with it, and for some reason, everybody had synchronized shitting, besides me. Like, I went to go take a piss, and everybody went to go take a shit for some reason. Ah, uh, alright. So I'm going to go ahead and ready up for this while I wait for you guys. And again, got room for one more. Does not matter how new or how old you are to the community. Everybody is welcome to do these in hopes of getting some Urban Mystica. But yeah, when it comes up... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. When it comes to... Um... Uh, when it comes to... Uh... Greninja coming out, we'll be using Clodsire as well as a Gastrodon for it. Jeff says, last I saw you had 50 viewers, did you top that? Yeah, actually we did. We uh, The highest that we got to that stream was uh, 93, if I'm not mistaken, 93 viewers for Shining Sunday. And it was huge. Like, uh, 
my reach is finally back up for it and this and that so it was a really really good one we had a ton of people and it took a long long time before we were able to start letting people double dip and towards like the end of it um you know things started dying down uh, we had about 30 people watching and uh, i was allowing triple dipping but we uh, still have uh we still have some eggs from shiny sunday that i'll be giving out during the week i'm just kind of going from there all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start this one. Uh, my apologies. I'm reading chat while uh, just kind of ranting. Jeff says, damn, son, congratulations. Hey, much love to you, Jeff. Much, much love to you. Yeah, it was a really, really good one, without a doubt. And like I said, the rest of the eggs, uh, the, I don't know what the hell that noise was on my phone. But all right. But anyways, uh, yeah. Um, we be getting new eggs and things like that for Shiny Sunday. So, I'm going to try to give out as many of these as I possibly can during the week, and uh, just have some fun with it. Because, why not? You guys definitely deserve shiny Pokemon, and I like giving out stuff. So, it's a win-win for everybody. Alright. Prelude used headbutt. Of course he did. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Breloom is luckily as stupid as a Pokemon to defeat. Doesn't matter what level, even I, level six ones like have been super easy for us. Oh goodness! But I hope everybody is having a good day. Like I said, sorry we did not go live yesterday. It was literally just because I overslept. It's all the time. I was like, eh, it's too late. Right now to do one, so. I ended up not doing one yesterday, for that reason only. Alright, so yeah, we definitely got this. This guy is done for. Alright. I do at some point this week have to go uh, get food for my house. I'm just not sure when yet. Oh, man. My allergies are still kick kind of kicking my ass, everybody. <laughs> so, my bad for that. All right. Byron says, you guys should use special attackers, and I can use acid spray, and you guys can one shot. Ah, uh, I don't know if I have a special attacker uh, for this yet, Byron. I'm trying to think. I have, I have him, Slowbro, Berserker, and... Um, Ah, uh, who's the other one? I don't remember who the other one. Hey, what's up, James? James says, Hey, sun's shining here in Philadelphia area for the first time in weeks. Hey, very nice, bro. Very nice. How are you doing today, James? Uh, Danielle says, I read King Gambit may work too. I'm going to try him. That's a cool Pokemon. Mitchell with the like. Thank you, Mitchell. Mitchell says, morning. Like, morning to you, Mitchell. How are you doing today, dude? Yeah, King Gambit is just a good Pokemon to me. Like, he's really, really cool. He has a good ability, too. Alright, so he's almost dead. Yep. Yeah, he is... Alright, so shield's broke, so he should be just about done for. Oh, I missed my play rough, of course. Danielle says he's a dark steel type, which is resistant to poison. That is true. That is very, very true. Like I said, he's a good Pokemon, without a doubt. Hey, what's up, Sue? Sue says, good morning, everyone. How are you doing today, Sue? 
Uh, James says, I'm good. Still can't get over the transfer lies head here. So, uh, good to hear that you're good, man. Good to hear that you're good. Uh, alright, there we go. We beat him. Like I said, like I said, Freloom is stupid easy Pokemon to beat. Alright, so let's go ahead, not catch him, and see if we got any Urban Mystica. New Urban Mystica from that one. That's alright. Alright. Also, we brought too much longer, and we will, in fact, have a, um... We will, in fact, have a, uh... That's some kind of weird whistling in the background. Anyways, um... We will have an update for the game it not too long from now, thankfully. Uh, Byron says, I read about a possibility of Greninja having some move that could one-shot King, but who knows if he actually will have it. I mean, yeah, like I said, we'll have more information the day he actually comes out. So... Who knows what he'll actually have and what Pokemon would be possibly the best for him to use. But, I mean, you never know, man. You never, ever know. Sue says, I got Blue Puppy Family last night and some extra uh, day four. Oh, nice. Very, very nice, Sue. That, Rock Road's a great Pokemon, without a doubt. Like, I absolutely love Rock Road. Like, I don't think anybody here does not look at Rock Ruff and go, that is just a lame Pokemon. It is, no, it is a great Pokemon. Uh, Ground, Terra for Gastrodon, and one ability. Uh, the Water Absorb ability. Uh, Byron, that is what I plan on using, is the Water Absorb ability. As far as moves go, I, mm, he has a good move pull, without a doubt. Like, I trust you, or, like, you know Pokemon pretty well, uh, so far at this point, um, when it comes, and if nothing else, you know, I can switch the moves on him, but yeah, definitely want him with the water absorb ability, because he is obviously gonna have some sort of water move, without a doubt. Alright, three star Nummel, that is not what we need right here, Storm Drain, yes, Storm Drain, thank you, sir. Couldn't remember what it was called off the top of my head. Alright, so let's go down here, check out this one, and go from there, everybody. Alrighty. But yeah, I feel like that would be good, because this typing is good, too, Gastrodon. Jamie with the like, good morning, Jamie. How are you doing today, dude? But yeah, I feel like those would work really, really well. But like I said, if they don't, and, you know, I'm mistaken, you know, for whatever reason, it happens. Uh, we will definitely have more information about Greninja the day he releases. But I feel like the Pokemon that not only that I've recommended, but you guys have recommended would be good. Have a item idea. Oh, oh god damn it, we have one of these. Um, when it comes to items, I was thinking the probably Shell Bell again, or Shell Bell or Leftover, something along those lines. Danielle says, hi, Jamie, and Jamie says, morning, morning to you, Jamie. Byron says, ground is good against <coughs> poison. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to remember, poison is the one I forget about a lot. Poison is, we'll go ahead and get the code up for this one. Uh, poison. Psychic is one. Hey, I'm trying to remember what the others are. Psychic. Oh, God. Poison is the one I always forget. I just remember it's super effective against a uh, fairy. That's the one I've always, always, always had trouble remembering for some reason. I'd have to look it up. I really don't remember right now off the top of my head. Like, <clears throat> hey, Jeff says first egg was Tamanda. Uh, to man this, to, the, 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 the teddy, the teddy bear family Pokemon. The second was Sunker. Congratulations, Jeff. Uh, we got Byron in. Welcome back, Byron. And we got room for two more people. And yeah, this Pokemon has been like the bane of Byron's existence for a while. But now the reason for the water is or really because like everybody is agreeing that obviously he's gonna have something water based. Um, he might have. 
skunk shots, as well as um, as well as dark pulse. So like there, there are quite a few. So using just a straight up psychic type Pokemon would not be good if he has dark pulse, unfortunately. Like Slowbro, for example. Like a lot of people were thinking at first, you know, Slowbro would be good to use against him again, but unfortunately, that is not the case now. Uh, so maybe he, Gastrodon might be able to learn through TM a psychic based move. If so, I I have to look it up. I really don't remember if he can or not. Because if so, if he could say like learn psychic from uh, TM for whatever reason. See if you can learn something that could boost uh, special uh, attack as well, and kind of go from there. Like I'm kind of winging it right now with it. I don't have the list up right now for uh, Gastrodon that I would normally have. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and ready up for this one, and just kind of go from there. Oh goodness. Uh, probably after this one, I will do a couple of trades with Daniel. We got Richard with the light. Good morning, Richard. How are you doing today, dude? Um, I'll probably do a few trades with Danielle, so I can have some Pokemon ready for her TikTok stuff, and just kind of go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and ready up, and go from there, chat. But yeah, he's, like I said, Greninja's going to be kind of tough, because a lot of people are in green and say he's probably going to be both special as well as physical attacks, so that's what's going to make it a little bit tougher, too, <clears throat> is the fact that he's going to be both, because, like, uh, with Charizard, he was special, and when it came to Cinderace, he was physical, so Greninja might be both. Uh, Byron says he can't learn psychic damage moves. Okay, no worries, man. No worries. We'll figure something out. <clears throat> I will definitely figure something out. Like I said. Plus, you gave me Claude Sire as well. That is raid ready, so definitely gonna try him as well. Without a doubt. It's just we had... <laughs> which, when it comes to the raids, uh, we've also been live for 30 minutes uh, so far for today's session. Um, when it comes to the raids, we'll only be doing those Friday and Saturday, due to the fact that Sunday will be our Shining Sunday event, because I believe that's when the days fall, let me check. Yes, so, yeah, Friday's when they start, and then, yeah, Friday's when they start for me, through Sunday night, but like I said, we'll only be doing them, uh... Friday and Saturday, pretty much those entire days, in order to get everybody here, as many as possible. Alright. Of course I missed. Hey, what's up, Nigel? Nigel says hello, Blake. Hey, what's up, Nigel? How are you doing today, dude? Oh, no, don't you use... Now I can't use uh, player up two times in a row. That kind of sucks. So I've used liquidation. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, and he's making my defense fall. So he's probably going in for a one shot, unfortunately. Nigel with the like. Much love to you, Nigel. Alright, so let's try player up again. Alright, outrage isn't going to hurt me at all because of the fairy type. So thank God for that. There we go. So I just have to keep switching back and forth between those two things. Oh, God. Mitchell says, oh, my God, it's Spartan Omega. Have my baby. Shut up, Mitchell. Uh, like I said, after this one, if Danielle is still watching, I'll do a couple trades with her for uh, Pokemon for her TikTok stuff and just, just kind of go from there. Just kind of go from there, guys. Today is a chill day. Without a doubt. And plus, I want to make sure I have stuff uh, for her TikToks to give out. Which I know I've seen some of you guys in there. It took me a minute to realize, but I did like pair up with Nigel during it. And I was like, I know that name. What's up, Nigel? And yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, people keep calling me uh, Daddy. 
lake over there, and it's kind of um, uh, uh, scary. Daniel says, uh, I'm not ready. Working on stuff for Violet, yours is on Scarlet. Okay, no worries, Danielle. No worries. <clears throat> At all. Alright, with that being said, we'll just get some more uh, raids up then for a while. Alright. Alright, so shield is broke. Hell yes. And then, like I said, I had to keep going back and forth because unfortunately he used taunt on me. A little annoying. Hey, he is frozen though. Hell yeah. And he's good. Oh, well, he's not frozen anymore. He is confused though. Alright. He might be dead. He might be dead, chat. Oh, wait. Nope. I have to use liquidation now. On him. Uh, Daniel says Walmart has nose, uh, the nose rings I want, but damn it, I'm a couple taller short. What kind do you want, Danielle? Nigel says I'm about to go to lunch. Might join a raid with you just to practice for this weekend because I've not done that. All right, sweet bro, sweet. All right, and ah, uh, sadly, no urban mist because that was actually kind of an easy annihilate right there. Uh, Daniel, if you want, go ahead and send me a picture of what kind of, uh, nose rings. Is that the name? <coughs> uh, basically, same, uh, septum, but it will go in my... Same septum, but it will go in my nostril. Gotcha, Daniel. I got you. <coughs> oh, goodness. I wish I could quit coughing right now. Uh, Byron says, be right back, gonna look up Gastrodon moves, suggested for Ray. Alright, no worries at all, Byron. No worries at all, my man. Appreciate you. Alright. So let's go check out this fire one over here, guys, and then it's gonna go from there. Let's see. Give me one second, Danielle, and I will answer that. Like I said, typically I don't answer messages from people. Danielle's one of the few people that I will answer messages from while on stream. Alright, so let me see. Uh, Volcarona, five star. There we go. Damn, now we're getting some five star. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so yeah. Five star Volcarona. Volcarona shouldn't be too, too bad. Normally, fire and bug, which is kind of an interesting combo. And its terror type is what it, one of its normal types would be, which is fire. So we got this, everybody. All right, we got Shackles. Welcome in, Jeff. <clears throat> All righty. Shackles is going to be using his... Pokemon that I'm also going to be using. Alright, so I'm going <coughs> to... I'll go ahead and ready up. <coughs> Jesus Christ, my allergies, guys. I apologize. Alright, so go ahead and ready up for this one with GF and go from there, everybody. Alright, so sorry, scrum through some shit real quick. Alright, so we'll wait until it gets to the 45 second marker and go from there, everybody. Alright, 45 seconds. That was plenty of time. 
Let's see, I don't know who we should shiny hunt for today. Alright, so give me one second, everybody. All right, let's defeat this Volcarona. Uh, Nigel says Gastrodon. Yeah, so uh, Byron here is making me a Gastrodon, uh, Nigel for um for um the Greninja because I feel like Gastrodon's gonna be a really really good one to use. Um. So yeah, I feel like Gastron's going to be used. He also gave us a uh, raid-ready Clod Sire that we're going to try out as well uh, when it comes to Greninja, because that one also might be super, super uh, well done for it. All right. Oh, oh, that, okay, that was a shiny hunting suggestion. Okay. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad, going for Gastrodon. I have him in, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, but I don't have him in here. Plus, I don't know where a good spot to hunt him for would be. Um, one Pokemon I was personally thinking about going for was Sandy Ghast. Ooh, that did some damage. I don't know why. Something would be really cool about that. Giraffe Rig would be cool to shiny. A Giraffe Rig wouldn't be bad either. That wouldn't be too bad. I don't think he would be too hard to shiny hunt for either. Both uh, Sandy Gas as well as Giraffe Rig. But we definitely want to go shiny hunt something today, guys. Uh, we did get Lucky Shiny Sunday, and we did get another Great Value Spinarak shiny uh, here. I think our first one was on Violet, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too terribly sure. <coughs> but either way, we have two of them now. One of them we can evolve to get his evolution, and the one we can keep as uh, him forever. So that way we can have both of them done uh, for his line. That's typically what I do. Like, I'll uh, <clears throat> try to go after, like, one of each to uh, have them ready to go for shiny. Alright. Ooh, got a little burnt there, but that's alright. Ah, uh, Jeff says, shiny hunt Tinkaton or Gothic. Ooh, Tinkaton would be really cool. I don't remember what the Gothic one looks like, shiny. You'd have to remind me what she looks like, shiny. I really don't remember. We still got a while before shiny hunting. Without that, but since we are literally done, uh, uh, since we are literally done with the paradox Pokemon, like we don't have to go after them. So just basically whatever we want to at this point. That just says I thought the first one was on shiny Sunday. No, no, no. The first one that we got for the Great Value Spinner Act was literally during the week. Uh, we were shiny hunting and just happened to find him because we were looking for him as well as uh. Scatterbun on the very, very, very first route. Ooh, we might lose this one. I died again. Oh, yeah, we lost this one. GG's, that's alright, though. We'll get it back up. But no, Nigel, the first one we caught was uh, during the week, and then the one that we caught on Shiny Sunday, that was an extra one that we got, that I was surprised we even got one of them. We were literally just walking around while trying to hatch for some Eevees. Uh, Daniel, since starting your team now, Blake, you want them all Shiny. Ah, nah, nah, I'll be alright without them being all Shiny. But yeah, I do need those. Thank you, Daniel. Um, Daniel, I trust you when it comes to, like, move-making and everything like that. You know what I look for. 
<clears throat> for boosts, for something powerful, and something uh, something that could decrease their stuff. But yeah, nah, they don't have to be shiny. And people want to... <clears throat> uh, for people wondering what we're talking about, uh, Sir Chester is doing a uh, Pokemon League over in his Discord, in which I'm one of his Elite Four members. And Daniel here is getting the team that I picked out for it. And we got uh, Daquan with the follow. What's up, Daquan? How are you doing today, dude? And thank you for the follow. <clears throat> and Nigel says, okay, my days are kind of blurred these days. Ah, oh, you're good, Nigel. You are good, my man. You didn't know. And you were just asking. But no, we got two of them, which was awesome. And like I say, he's a cool, he's a very, very cool shiny. His evolution, I heard, kind of sucks shiny. So I was kind of eh to evolve him. But now we got two of them. It's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we'll do it. <coughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. I will check my phone here in a minute and then go from there. We got Jeff back in. Welcome back, Jeff. Byron says, okay, got a belt. All right, sweet. Appreciate you, Byron. Appreciate you, bro. See, Byron here is working on a Gastrodon for uh, the Greninja Raid for me, and Danielle is getting me a team for Sir Chester's uh, Discord League, which is going to be a lot of fun. With that, that, we're still setting it up. And uh, this and that, so I'm not sure exactly when it will be ready, but when it is, like, uh, people have to go and challenge who we picked as gym leaders, beat them, and then they can challenge us uh, Elite Four members. Nigel says, yeah, there's a few I'm not looking forward to getting just because they don't look that cool. Yeah, there's, obviously there's going to be some, like, um, obviously there's going to be some mons that, just don't look great shiny, unfortunately. Uh, it's always going to be a thing for a Pokemon. Like, uh, to me, like, uh, one of the ones I definitely did dirty, this one was uh, Annihilate. Such a cool Pokemon. Oh, I ain't ready to... I did that one way too fast. My bad, everybody. Uh, I thought we had four people in. That is my fault. Hey, what's up, Simon? How are you doing today, dude? Simon says, hello, Blake. Hello, Simon. How are you doing today, man? <clears throat> uh, Byron says, going Earth Power and Misha, Chilling Water and Recovery, Leftovers, Four item. Hey, that sounds great, man. That actually sounds like a really, really good build. Simon with the like as well. Much love to you, Simon. Yeah, that sounds like a really good build, uh, Byron. All right, so my Belly Drum and then Liquidization. And again, I appreciate you, bro. He already burned me. Little shithead. Simon says, I'm okay, man. I'm glad to hear you're okay, my man. I'm glad to hear you're okay. <clears throat> Byron says, Max special attack Eevee and splitting the rest of Eevee between defense and special defense in case he's strong with both attacks. Alright, sweet, bro. Sweet. Hey, what's up, Split? Split says, hey -o. Daniel says, I didn't hear if you wanted a shiny team, so I'm making them shiny. Okay, that works. I said, nah, they don't have to be shiny, but much love to you, Danielle. Much, much love to you. Alright. So, you guys, too, will get to see, uh, which, if you're already in Sir Chester's Discord, then you already know, like, uh, what I'm using over there, uh, for my team. And it's gonna be a pretty powerful one, without a doubt. It's gonna be a good one. Oh, goodness. I'm not gonna make it easy for people. Obviously. Gonna have fun with it, though. Like, in my little, uh... Because <laughs> we got our own little Elite Four areas, too, for each one of us. Danielle's one of them, too. And, uh, she she made hers, like, to show, like, Hey, I'm Danielle, everybody. I'm super nice and sweet. And I'm over here, like, Alright, assholes, you guys don't stand a chance against me. <laughs> it's really funny. So it says, Hey, man. Hey, how are you doing today, Spliff? Alright, so there's your legalization. And go from there, everybody. Yeah, I think we, we definitely got him this time, without a doubt. He confused me, of course, with a damn hurricane. As Moro is confused... Ah, I hit myself! No! 
But shield is broken. Yeah, we definitely got him. He is definitely, definitely done for. <laughs> Damn it, I hit myself again. When your Pokemon's confused and they just constantly punch themselves in the face, like, what the fuck is damn things to me? Uh, so it says, dude, I came to my school for no reason. I have all my homework done and my counselor told me to go home. You better go home, okay? You got your work done early. Doing your work early is bad. We didn't get any Urban Mystica, okay? But GG's chat. <laughs> uh, GG's, everybody. Alrighty. Check to see where we are for time. Alright, we still have plenty of time. We still got plenty of time for our raids, everybody. So, yeah, we kind of have an idea of what we want to go shiny hunt for today. Game? Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to swim over to this island and just kind of go from there, everybody. Spliff says, having work is bad, okay? Go home, okay? Uh, do, getting homework from school is bad, okay? I hated it as a child, and I said, I'm not doing this, okay? <coughs> oh, God. Like I said, I should have been a voice actor at one point. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go check out the one over there on that island, and kind of go from there. We'll also check to see who we have for um, <clears throat> outbreaks, because we've been doing a few of them uh, lately. We got Marini and Vaporeon. Uh, I believe that was Saturday that we did that. I believe, at least, yeah. We got both Marini and him, so I believe because of that now, too... We have two full boxes of shiny Pokemon for ourselves. Because, <clears throat> like, last time I looked, we ran into over 130-odd shiny Pokemon the, uh, in this game. But the only thing was, like, I, I didn't have all those, obviously, because some of them I evolved. Uh, or more than that, most of them I legitimately gave away. Hey, the Donzo. Uh, I'm actually going to change my Pokemon for this one. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. See, like, my my boxes are so, so messy right now, chat. Alright, so he should be in here. Yes, there's our Iron Hands. And let's get this one up, because he is normal type for this one. Okay, uh, Split says, they would have, uh, thought to give Spliffy homework, LOLs. I don't do it. <coughs> see, I... I did some of my own. If it was a subject, like I said, or I've said this before, like, um, and this really applies to me. If it's something that I'm not interested in, like, at all, I'm not going to put the effort in for it. <clears throat> like, uh, I've always been that way, though. Like, if it's a subject that I personally don't care about at, at any given point, then uh, I am just not going to put the effort into it if it doesn't interest me. And I don't think I'm alone there. So, uh, before we get this rate up for everybody, I do, in fact, want to, uh, well, if I could find my own stream. Goodness, I can't believe how bad they messed up with everything. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure that there are no sort of reactions that, again, I personally missed. So, let me see. Yes, I did. We got Spliff with the heart and Byron with the heart. Much, much love to you guys. Colton with the note of five. What's up, Colton? How are you doing today, dude? And Colton with the like as well. Uh, Colton says, weird, I didn't get a notification when you went live. Yeah, it it unfortunately happens, man. That's why I post it in the Discord as well. Like I said, some days Facebook's good with it, and some days they just give us a finger. Like, it's not even in my notification thing right now uh, for, for my own stream, which I find to be BS. So I had a... <coughs> 
go and search my own page to uh, get it. All right. Uh, let's see. Once it 45 seconds, I'll back out and go back into this one. Uh, so that way we can get some people in for this raid. Colton says, not too much on my lunch break. Good to hear, man. Good to hear that you're on your lunch break. And again, thank you for coming in on your lunch break, my man. I highly appreciate it. All right, so let's get this one back up. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, in five minutes, we will have been live for exactly one hour for today's session so far. And then later on, uh, we will be going live, I believe, on Danielle's Facebook page uh, later. Not 100% confirmed yet, because you, I, I know her, like, she likes to switch her around stuff. So either way, we're going to have fun with it today, meeting her. Like, I'll have a call up. And whatever she plays, you guys know, you will hear my lovely allergy-filled voice today. Ah, <laughs> oh, goodness. Alrighty. And just kind of go from there, everybody. Alright. If we don't get anybody in for this one uh, this time, then I'll just try it solo. Because <coughs> I know some people are busy right now. Daniel's making uh, stuff for Pokemon Violet right now. Byron is getting us the Gastrodon. And uh, yeah, just kind of going from there to it. Byron says, I'm trading at the moment. Give me a minute. Yeah, no, 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 you're good, man. You are good. I figured you were busy getting the Mons and everything like that. So now you are good, Byron. Oh, wow. Look at that shadow. <laughs> How slow it is. Uh, like I said, if nothing else, I will do this one solo, which is all right. I I want to say I can do it solo. I'm not too sure yet. I don't think I've come across to Donzo in a raid yet. We got Danielle in. Welcome, Danielle. So I, I, I don't know if he's one of the Pokemon that actually gives you a higher chance for a Mystic or not. I really don't remember. I would have to um I would have to look at the um list for it. There there is a list of Pokemon that give you a higher chance in five star raids for more Urban Mystica than normal. Uh I wanna say Palafin is one of those Pokemon, and I believe Arcanine is as well, but I can't really remember off the top of my head. All right. Oh, I was kind of hoping he'd be shiny, but unfortunately he is not. Of course, Danielle has her shiny Sylveon. Alright, so we're going to do Belly Drum and then Drain Punch him to death. We got JB, or I'm sorry, JD. I'm sorry because it's all the B at the end, my bad. With the like, how are you doing today, JD? But thank you for the like, dude. Alright, so let's Drain Punch. Oh, yeah, we got this. Wow, we, have, we got a lot of health back from that one. Holy crap. <clears throat> yeah, that didn't do anything to Donzo. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. So, let's see. Let's do another Drain Punch. Yeah, yeah, this one will be easy. Hey, what's up, Tekris? Tekris says, enjoy the raid. Much love to you, bro. How are you doing today, Tekris? Good to see you again. Alright, so he got rid of his negative effects, which he didn't have any, but that is all good. 
We have Techris with a like as well. Much love to you, dude. Welcome back to the streams, man. I came back. Hey, good to see. Good to see. Oh, how are you doing today, Techris? See, I remembered you, my man. We were shiny hunting, uh, one of the Paradox Pokemon last time we saw you. Uh, Jim says, wait, how is Wishcash just floating around in a cave with no water? Well, first, that's the Donzo, which I thought actually was the new Wishcash evolution. And secondly, magic. <laughs> magic, James. Alright, so we made our stats fall a little bit, but that's alright. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's use another drain punch and go from there. <coughs> Tekra says trying to get Iron Santa. That's right. Yeah, it was the Iron Santa Claus. In which we did get him, uh, Tekris. We ended up getting, uh, six out of seven of the Shiny Paradox Pokemon with the, uh, that day, and he, we only got one of him, uh, the shiny Santa, but it was, uh, definitely, definitely a good day for shiny hunting. Byron says, stupid bot canceled, uh, canceled trade on me. Of course it did, bro. Of course it did. James says, magic catfish. I got it. Yes. He's the magic catfish. He's, um, he's Lord Jabba Jabba from, uh, The Legend of Zelda. Both the Wind Waker as well as, uh, Ocarina of Time. Even though he wasn't called Jabba Jabu in uh, Wind Waker. I don't remember what his name was in that one. Because it was a different fish. But either way, Magic Cat fish. Alright, so he got rid of our belly drum, but literally he needs one more hit. And he is done for. Alright, there we go. There we go. GG's. He is dead, chat. As long, we just gotta wait for the game to recognize that he is dead. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Alright. So, I don't need to catch him, so let's see. Jobin is the one we can Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jobin. That's right, that's right. See, it dawned on me, like, wait a minute, no, 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 he's a different fish, he's a different fish, but still, cool Zelda reference, nonetheless. <laughs> Alright, we defeated him, so, and no Urban Mystica from that one, unfortunately. Alright, and we have officially been live, guys, for one hour. Alright, so let's go check out this one, so it looks like we have a Venomoth outbreak. I definitely don't need a Venomoth. <laughs> Shiny. I have plenty of those. <clears throat> if it was Venom Nat, that'd be a different story. I do need him, because the first uh, Venomoth that I've ever had, it was a Venom Nat that I caught in um, <clears throat> Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, it wasn't even Shiny hunting, and just happened to find one. And I decided, yeah, you know what, I'll evolve and see what he looks like. Uh... Tekra says, you need to still f feed him like Jabu Jabu to Donzo. I mean, you're probably not wrong, man. Alright, uh... Yeah, we'll do him. He's five star. So let's get the code up and go from there, everybody. There we go. Oh, I'll probably just use him. Probably would just be easier. I don't have a electric type Pokemon to be able to help out with this one. I still also want the Kanto Raichu shiny. I have a Lowland Raichu shiny. I just don't have Kanto, which is really weird. You think at this point I would have have shiny, but nope. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, much love to you, Daniel. Daniel says you got your team done. I'll trade after lunch. All right, sweet, Daniel. Sweet. We got Nigel in. Welcome, Nigel. Uh, Tekra says, my first shiny was a Magikarp and Fire Red, which was upsetting because you don't get a free, uh, shiny Gyarados in Fire Red. Uh, believe it or not, Tekra, my first shiny Pokemon ever, too, was in Fire Red. Um, 
it was a uh, horsey. Was not. I didn't even know what shiny Pokemon were. I just came across this uh, horsey. It was a different colored. I thought it was a glitch and looked cool, so I caught it. And my cousin said, "No, nah, dude, you found a shiny Pokemon." I was like, "Okay, cool." And he explained to me what they were. Tiger says, "I also got Onyx and Ponyta in that game, dude. See, that's back when the odds were one in eight thousand back then. So getting just one was a damn good def uh, feat right there." Tekra says, I maxed out the hours on that game at 999. See, um, I, I, someone stole my copy of Fire Red years ago, unfortunately. I don't know who did it, uh, but whoever did it was an asshole. And my shiny horsey was on the game, so it was forever lost, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think I've ever caught, uh, shiny horsey since. Danielle says, mine was shiny oddish in X and Y. That's actually a good one to have, Danielle. That is actually a damn good one to have. So I'm going to go ahead and ready up for this one. And we also have Jeff back in as well. Welcome back, Jeff. Uh, Tegra says, I burn out the hours on Sapphire, so I stopped uh, going night and day. So I had to buy a second cartridge. Had a few thousand hours on uh, third gen. Dude, third generation of games were fantastic. I absolutely loved them. They were so, so much fun. With that, that, and they also did really, really good with the uh, remakes, being uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Like they did those two really, really well. With that, that, so we'll wait until we get to the forty-five second marker in case there's anybody else that wants to join in for this raid. But yeah, Nigel says there's about a six second delay on stream. All right, sweet Nigel, sweet. That's actually a good thing. That's uh, typically where, as uh, quickly as you can get it for Facebook. So, six seconds is honestly our best time for it, without a doubt. Uh, Byron says, won't trade me now for some reason. It literally froze my game, popped up a message on my screen saying, press home to end game now. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, Byron, just try again later, man. Just try again later. I hope it didn't mess up anything for you, my man. Uh, sounds like it is raining outside of my house right now, too. So, hopefully my power does not cut out, chat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start this raid. All righty. But yeah, uh, I would say the first game, though, that I ever really started getting to shiny hunting because it made it a little... There were some methods that made it a little bit easier. Uh... That I started doing different techniques and things like that. And it was probably Pokemon X and Y. Um, for a while. Uh, I didn't get too many shinies in that game, unfortunately. I got a few. Not all that many. But the one that like really gave me some luck was um, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon. <coughs> gave me some, but Sword and Shield. That game was good to me. Without a doubt for... Uh, shinies byron says yeah it let me back on i was worried about it banned me dude that's what i was thinking too like oh fuck yeah i think it just messed up on you hopefully that's the case like i said just give it a little while before you try trading again my man oh he already has his shield up again oh goodness all right get rid of his negative effects which is fine Uh, one sec. James says, they really should have given height options on your avatars. They're also ridiculously slow. And they're like, yeah, I'm surprised they have not done that for a game yet. Like, different height, um, things, or even weight. You know, that'd be kind of cool to make it a little bit more customizable. And things like that. Because I don't think we've ever gotten that in a, uh, Pokemon game. And... I will say for this one, uh, this one has some of the lamest character customization that we ever got. Because, <clears throat> like, character customization uh, originally started in X and Y, which was really good, you know. Different hairstyles, different clothing, backpacks, and all that. In this game, they just really didn't do that. They just gave you school uniforms in which you could change your shoes, your backpack, and you could wear a hat. And that's honestly kind of it. I was really hoping, like, 
man, I really want to be able to wear like uh, what I would normally wear, not the school uniform thing. So that was kind of lame to me, unfortunately. We got him with the crit right there. Because I like being able to, uh, you know, have a little bit of personalization to my games. There we go. We defeated him. GG's, everybody. Uh, Nigel says, I hate that I can't get the hat off. Yeah, you can, Nigel. You can get the hat off. Alright, so we got that. So you have to go to your uh, clothing thing, which is one of the D-pad buttons, Nigel. And then you can take it off from the clothing menu. Uh, right there. That's how I did it, because I absolutely hate that hat as well. Like, I know the in-game, like, uh, default hat, <coughs> it just looks terrible. <clears throat> it is the worst, to me, it's the worst one that we have, uh, gotten so far. Alright, so let's go this way to get ourselves another one. And then after Danielle is done with her lunch break chat, I'm going to do some trades with her. Uh, to get my Pokemon for my team, uh, for Sir Chester's Discord, which you guys will be able to see. I I want to say Nigel, it's left on the D pad, if I'm not mistaken, for the clothing thing, and you're able to take it off from there. Cause like, I was so annoyed with it, and first day of playing, Daniel's like, "Nah, you just have to go to a hairstylist." She was messing with me. She knew I could take it off, but she didn't want to tell me. She wanted me to figure it out on my own. I'm like. Why didn't you just tell me? Oh, man. Alright, so let's go down. Uh, James says, Can only hope the uh, DLC, DLC updates offers more difference. It's confusing that they did offer more character customization. Achievements in-game, especially since uh, that's such a popular microtransaction mechanic in current generation game. Uh, well, see, here's the thing. Pokemon has never done microtransactions for their main games. Uh, Pokemon Go being the one exception because it's a free game, thankfully. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that'll never be a thing. As far as character customization goes, I agree. This one, they really just didn't give us all that much in terms of uh, character customization, unfortunately. Compar especially compared to the last generation. Like, we did not get any that's a four star daniel says oh shit i didn't uh i didn't trade them to me i'll let you know when i'm ready to trade all right no worries daniel no rush or worries at all dude all right there we go because like i said i need to get some shiny pokemon anyways from you for your tiktok stuff not just to say so much hey you're welcome man you are welcome like i said even if it's small things like that i like telling people about it because some people like nigel for example might not know when it comes to that, because it just doesn't really tell you sometimes, the game. Alright, so no to that one. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping with a up future update we get better uh, customization. Uh, primarily new clothes. Like, I really want some new clothes. I'm not a fan of what we have for the game. Because like I said, you get to pick different uh, school uniform types. And that's it. <laughs> There's nothing else, unfortunately. Danielle says, okay, I have some eggs and Pokemon for you. Whole box. All right, sweet, Danielle. Sweet. I'll get those from you once you're off your lunch break, uh, because you literally go to uh, lunch in, um, in uh, five minutes. I was looking at my clock. So, yeah, I will definitely get those from you in just a little while after you get back. So that way you guys, too, can see, like, uh, some Pokemon that I will personally be giving away on Danielle's uh, TikTok. If you guys have not followed that already, then you definitely should. She's been doing fantastic over there. I'm super, super proud of her, and I'm just glad that she allows me to uh, go do it with her. All right, so, ooh. I'm going to have to change Pokemon because his normal typing is Flying and Steel, so he'll have a Flying type, uh, or a Steel type of move, so I'm going to switch him to our Raid Ready Slowbro. So, let's go ahead and get that code up, and while you guys put the code in, 
I will be right back, everybody. I have to use the restroom, so give me one second, chat. <clears throat> all right sorry about that guys sorry about that all right we got nigel back in welcome back nigel james says yeah the lack of customization was a very odd choice in their part yeah especially considering like all the past pokemon games we have uh gotten a fairly good amount of it <laughs> daniel says you gotta go get some dude ass yep daniel called it I went to go get some dude ass guys without any milk. Alrighty. Alright, so let's get this raid <coughs> started, everybody. Alright, sweet. Oh, goodness. <coughs> All right, so I got my slow bro, and we are just gonna go from there, chat. All right, so iron defense, two of them. All right, that three stored power, and then hit hit. Actually, I might not even need three, so we'll just go ahead and use, or I'm sorry, not not three, but two of our shield. All right, so use the first one. All right, so use our second one. Uh, Byron says, so let me get one gastro, but I'm gonna wait to try through the other now. Alright, sweet bro. No worries at all. Just let me know when you are good to trade, Byron. Alright, so... What is... Oh, that was my... Oh, that's right. My leftovers. My leftovers. Alright. So let's go ahead and use our second nasty plot. Alright, Go. Use this one. 
I believe we used two. I haven't been paying attention. Oh, no, no, I didn't have one there. Okay, so now I can hit him. That was my bad, everybody. I was not paying attention to how many times I used it. All right, so now I can use stored power. Oh, no. I was hoping to get that before uh, he got that up, unfortunate. Ah, that's all right, though. Unfortunate. That's all good. That's still going to do quite a bit of damage. I was afraid right there he got rid of mine. But no, we're good, we're good. All right. There we go. Yeah, we got this. Son of a. B All right, so I gotta use it. I gotta use it again. Unfortunately. <clears throat> All right, so I'll go ahead and use nasty plots. <laughs> All right, so you come on, game. There we go. Use our second one, one more, and then hit him with uh, stored power again. I hate that they could do that in raids. It makes it a little bit tougher, but at the same time, kind of interesting that they could do that. All right, so he is paralyzed, which is good. All right, so now that we got our third one. We can go back and hit him with our stored power and just kind of go from there, everybody. Alright, there we go. There we go. His shield is broke. <clears throat> so, one more hit and he will be dead. Uh, which is good because we are close to out of time for this raid. But I figured we had it. All right, stored power on him. There we go, GG's. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm hoping they add with the D uh with not the DLC but this upcoming update, but I highly doubt it. Of course, no Herba Mystic again. We're just not getting lucky with that. Uh, one thing I'm really hoping that they add with the um, update that comes out in February is some kind of shiny noise. I know uh, I've said this before, but data miners went and they uh, went to see if the, it's even in the game. And unfortunately, it's not. Which, that was one of the best things about Arceus was that shiny sparkle noise. And the fact that Pokemon will show up in the uh, overworld shiny. Like how they did in uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, because you know that when it came to it, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and Arceus were like pretty much the first two games in the franchise that it had done that for, and so it's a really really nice feature. And plus, when it came to uh, Arceus, they gave us a little sparkle as well as a noise uh, for it, which made it way way easier to tell like what Pokemon were shiny and not. And it was really helpful for Pokemon that you just can't tell unless you have it under a magnifying glass what was shiny. For example, like Hapini, um, Garchomp, Electivire. That was one because the only difference for him is his eye changes color and things like that. There we go. Another five star. Let's see if we cannot, in fact, get lucky with him. There we go. But yeah, it was really, really nice, so. <coughs> Even though this game has the overworld shinies um, in it, without that sparkle and noise, like, it makes it a little bit more difficult, especially for Pokemon you just straight up cannot tell in this game. Like, Fampy, for example. Um, Danielle had found one shiny, but she was using the, um, you know, send your Pokemon out to battle them, uh, the auto battle sort of method, and it wouldn't fight one of them. Which, Fanfi looks just like its regular form, so when she ran into it, it was shiny. 
fire and says, I have your gas. Hey, much love to you, Byron. I'll get him after this uh, battle, man. Much, much love to you, Byron. Byron, I'm going to give you a shiny Pokemon for your hard work, my man. I'm going to give you a shiny egg. I appreciate it, my man. All righty. We should be able to do him fairly, at least somewhat easily. This guy right here, Hound, Hound Doom. Especially, like, another thing, too, was, like, I was hoping at least the sparkle, like, how when you run into a shiny Pokemon for this game would be for raids, too. But thanks to uh, people who have actually gotten to a couple of shiny raids, uh, either by finding them themselves or uh, doing just random online ones, uh, they have informed me that, yeah, that is not the case, that it does not do the sparkle while in the raids, so... You kind of have to pay attention to them, unfortunately. <coughs> Alrighty. <coughs> Nigel says, I'm getting a communication error. Oh, no. N Nigel, no worries, man. If, um, if uh, it gets 45 seconds and nobody's in, my man. Then I will back out and go from there. Yeah, because I was having that problem the other day uh, in Danielle's uh, TikTok stream when we were doing some. So yeah, 45 seconds. So we're going to abandon it and get it back up for us. So that way we can hopefully get you in, my man, because that is not fair. Uh, Byron says, stats are solved. 311 special attack, 332 special defense, and 204 defense. See, he's a good Pokemon, without a doubt, Gastrodon. And his typing is solid. Like, a lot of people were thinking, uh, you know, Quagsire for it. But Gastrodon, to me, not... Well, this isn't even to me. Like, he has a better, uh, he has better stats. And he has a better move pool that he can learn naturally as opposed to Quagsire. Clodsire, I'm not too sure what his, uh, stats or moves are yet. I haven't looked that up. <clears throat> but again, I know a lot of people are going to be using him during the raid as well. And you already gave me one of him to use for the raid, so I'm really kind of looking forward to using him because he's a cool Pokemon. We got Byron in. Welcome back, Byron. Because <clears throat> I remember um, when the game first came out and I was playing Pokemon Scarlet. Alright, there we go. We got Nigel in and we got room for one more person, everybody. <clears throat> when the game uh, first came out and I was playing Pokemon Scarlet uh, by myself, I did have Claude Sire on my team and he was really, really good for the first half <clears throat> of the <clears throat> excuse me, of the game. However, when I got halfway in, I was like, okay, I need something a little bit different. So I had to switch him out for something else. But he was still pretty damn good for the time that we had him. We got Eric with the like. What's up, Eric? How are you doing today? Eric says, how's it going? Everyone going good today, man. How about yourself? How are you doing, Eric? All righty. So once it gets to the 45 second marker, that is when I will ready up everybody. And then after this uh, raid right here, I will trade with Byron really quick to get our raid ready Gastrodon for the uh, Greninja raid. I almost forgot what raid it was. All right, so we got five seconds and then we are going to go ahead and Radio. All right, sweet. Let's get started. Eric says prepping for the snow coming in, bro. I want snow so bad. Uh, it. We got rain here today, so I don't get snow. I get mud, unfortunately. Uh, God. I. It's been. I believe we got MJ with like. What's up, MJ? How are you doing today? Uh, we have. I want to say it's been. No, I did get snow. I got snow last year, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't go play in it because I uh, was going through some medical shit, so. Very, very unfortunate. I did go, like, on my entranceway, though, and, uh, just kind of watch it fall down from the sky. MJ says, hey, 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 MJ, how are you doing today, dude? Alright, so let's see. He's going to burn me, of course, but that's all right. We'll just start hitting him with our play rub and go from there, everybody. Jeff also says, what's up, MJ? 
All right. So let's go ahead and use play rough and go from there, everybody. All right, I already know that is that. <laughs> It's definitely not the damage that we did right there. MJ says, doing pretty good. Good to hear, MJ. Good to hear. We're just doing some raids for right now, and then later on, we'll switch to some shiny hunts and go from there. How are you on my way to the dock? Doing good today, MJ. Good, doing good. Uh, I woke up super, super late yesterday, which is why I did not stream yesterday. I didn't get up until, like, late afternoon. So all the time I was like, alright, nah, I'm just going to take today off. And just wait from there. Uh, NJ says, Jeff, what up, my guy? Uh, so yeah, I was super tired. I even went to bed early uh, Sunday night and still did not get up until like late after. I didn't hear my alarm or nothing. And thankful I not only did I get my alarm, but I also got a bullshit uh, phone call like right as I was getting up. So it just kind of went from there. All right, so let's use play rough. There we go. His shield might be broke. I'm not too terribly sure yet. Because, again, play rough is still a very broken move in this game, unfortunately. That might get fixed, though. That might, in fact, get fixed uh, with this update coming out. Uh, Jeff says, not a whole lot, just hanging out like everybody else. Hey, appreciate you hanging out with me, my man. MJ says, I got, uh, double Urba in a row yesterday. Got a total of eight herbs yesterday. Very nice, MJ. Very, very nice. Uh, I did end up playing the game yesterday, but I was playing it over on, uh, Daniel's TikTok, you know, giving out some Pokemon and just kind of going from there. Uh, Nigel says, hey, working <clears throat> working every day burns you out, even if you like it. That is true. <clears throat> that is very, very true, Nigel. I was just super tired after, because even, like, after I got done with my stuff, I was doing, you know, other people's things, playing games, talking to people, this, that. Hey, we finally got a piece of Urban Mystica. Finally. Let's go, guys. There we go. Finally. We got one piece at the very, very least. But, yeah. Uh, I was just exhausted, so. By the time I woke up and saw the time, I was like, nah, not today. But I ended up doing one with uh, Danielle for her TikTok stuff, which has been a lot of fun doing it with her. Because I see some of you guys over there as well. Jess says, lucky I haven't caught any yet today. Dude, we just got our first one uh, for today, Jeff. Uh, which is good. Hey, one is better than none. Like, like I always say, there's some days we just straight up don't get lucky at all. And before we go find this next one, I'm going to trade with Byron really quick to get our Gastrodon. So the code Byron is always the same, 0035, and go from there. Uh, MJ says, I've always been healthy, but I have to have my heart checked out. Well, hope, hopefully it goes well today for you, MJ. Hopefully your doctor just tells you, yep, everything's fine, and, you know, this and that, and hopefully, 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 hopefully everything will be all right for you. And we have officially been live, guys, for an hour and a half so far. All right, so we should have Byron in. Nigel says, maybe I'll be able to get, uh, be able to shiny hunt as soon as I get my shiny charm. Hey, dude, hopefully you do. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you do. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to give Byron here a shiny egg due to the fact that he is working hard on for us. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what our innate is, so I'm going to close my eyes, look down. And, alright, this one. We will give Byron this one. Much love to you, Byron. Like I said, he got me this uh, raid ready one for the uh, upcoming event. That we're going to be using him as well as uh, Claude Sire for it. Uh, Jess says, hopefully all turns out great. Yes, I absolutely agree too. And I'm hoping everything goes well for you today at the doctor, MJ. Alright, so there we go. Byron, again, I don't know what's in this egg, but it should be shiny. We had a couple incidences of uh, some of them not being shiny, so if that's the case... 
just let me know, and I will uh, fix it for you, my man. But either way, much love to you, Byron. All right, so we're going to go ahead and also move the Gastrodon over to my party as well, just so we have him good to go. Uh, cause like, like I said, my boxes right now, guys, they are so mismatched. Like, I have a couple of, uh, Pokemon down here that are for Danielle's TikTok giveaways. And, yeah, it's just a mess right now with the way my box is, so. Definitely gonna have to do some organizing <laughs> later. Like, some of the Pokemon, uh, obviously I used to, uh, get our new Pokemon, but I'm running super low on room in this game, unfortunately. So just have to kind of go from there. MJ says, my mom and sister have issues. My sister had a monitor on her that was supposed to last seven years. Oh, damn, dude. Oof. Like I said, I hope all goes well for you today, MJ. Um, MJ says, and it lasted too because 80% of her heart was in overdrive. Damn, dude. All right, we got, we, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little frazzled. Um, we have ourselves a, um, five-star hat Pokemon ready to go. So let's get this one up. Uh, but yeah, MJ, I hope all goes well for you today at your doctor's appointment. Um, Nigel says, hey, mine are barely organized. Same, bro. Only thing I have put together are, like, the Rage Ready Pokemon that we have, as well as, uh, our Shinies that we've caught, uh, here for my own personal collection. Those are the only things I have put away that are neatly stored, I must say. All right. MJ says, I had my first palpitation <clears throat> at 19. Shit, that's super young for that, MJ. Goodness. We got Nigel back in. Welcome back, Nigel. Like I said, you know the community and I are here for you. And hopefully all goes well today at your appointment. Alright, so we got room for two more people. And again, guys, <clears throat> for anybody that is new here for the community, <clears throat> it does not matter how new or how old you are to the community, everybody is welcome to do these raids with us. Hey, Byron got a shiny cheerleader bird. Hell yeah, he got Oracorio, guys. Hell yeah, Byron. That's actually a pretty good one to have. We've seen a lot of people get those lately, and I was like, damn, that actually looks pretty nice. Uh... See, like, one thing is, uh, <clears throat> one of the, during a TikTok thing, uh, one person over there, they gave me an egg, uh, for a trade when I gave him a shiny. I have no idea what is in this egg. I'm almost too afraid to hatch it, so I'm thinking about putting it away forever, because I don't have a way to delete it. Because <clears throat> if it's not, like, done, like, right, then I could get into trouble for that, so I'm not risking it and not hatching it. We got Byron back in as well. Welcome back, Byron. Uh, and Byron, I'll be your shiny cheerleader. I mean, what? <laughs> Alright, so we got some 45 seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and ready up. And whenever Nigel and Byron are ready, we will get this raid officially started, everybody. <coughs> All right. Ooh, Byron's going to be using his Gastrodon. All right, sweet. Let's get started, everybody. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some more of Robustica. I personally do not know yet. We have been getting a lot of five stars today, though. I must say, <clears throat> we have a bunch of dim checks left. It's just we don't have. Um, we haven't been getting lucky with our Urban Mystica, unfortunately. All right. Oh, 
wait, some somebody has oh well I do. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Alright, so yeah, usually this Pokemon is a psychic fairy type Pokemon, so we should indeed have this. Like I said, eventually I need to get uh, different, uh, different raid-ready Pokemon for this game. I just have not had time to do it, unfortunately. Uh, MJ says I got shiny. I got cheerleader too. LOL. Turn shiny Sunday. Hey, awesome, MJ. Awesome. Uh, one thing I definitely want to do again, uh, for shiny Sunday, <clears throat> is you know have one Pokemon in an egg, and whoever gets it, um, will get like a. Uh, Huge, huge prize type thing. I haven't talked to Angel about it yet, or anybody else to see, like, uh, you know, what what should we do for it type of thing, but hopefully uh, we can do that again, because that was a lot of fun. You guys seem to really enjoy that. And again, that was her idea. That was like a last minute idea for it. Uh, MJ says, I'm just hoping I'm okay so I could take care of my babies. I'm all they have. Hey, absolutely, MJ. Absolutely, dude. Like I said, we are here for you. Hopefully everything goes well today. So that way you can take care of your kiddos, dude. And why did my phone go off? What did it go off for? Pokemon Go, of course. God, I've got like 12 notifications on my fucking phone. Let me go ahead and clear all those. Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. Uh, okay, it was the NPC that died. It was the NPC that died. Alright, there we go. Byron has used his Terra ability. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> my allergies are bad, and this camera angle is doing terribly right now. Look at my, <clears throat> look at my stupid shoes. Oh, that was that was a close one. I believe I'm gonna miss with that one. No, I surprisingly didn't miss. What is with the camera? Why does it keep backing away so much? What is going on? Camera's like, nah, I don't want to see this. Not today. Uh, I died unfortunately, but he's on. He's almost dead, Hatterene. Uh, we still got some time, so yeah, we got this. The battlefield got weird. Oh, we might have lost this one. I'm not too sure yet. Yep, we lost that one. That's all right though. G G's everybody. I just want to know why the hell the camera kept backing up more and more and more. All right. Uh, actually, I have a better Pokemon that uh Byron says she heal. Oh, damn. It's all good, though. I have a Pokemon that'll be better for this raid, I just thought of. Uh, good old Iron Hands. I forgot. D uh, for when you're afraid of the dark, just punch it. Alright, so we'll do this one again. Alright, so I'm going to change my Pokemon over to our Iron Hands. Let's see. There he is. So there we go. Let's get this code back up and ready to go, everybody. Because we have been live for an hour and 43 minutes, so we still got some time to do some raids before we move on to shiny hunting. <coughs> oh, goodness. I'm also going to check my phone for any sort of reactions that, again, I may have missed due to the fact that they don't appear on our stuff so let's see no we are good and caught it awesome all right sweet so yeah iron hands might be better for it uh plus again play rough is unfortunately broken right now so maybe just maybe we'll be able to get him second go i think that was our first five star that we fell today so far if i'm not mistaken we got byron back in welcome back byron and we got room for two more. We got, oh, never mind. We got room for one more. Welcome back, Nigel. 
And again, it does not matter how new or how old you are to the community. These raids are for everybody. So if you want, go ahead and hop on in. Uh, MJ says, did you evolve our bet? No, I have not evolved him, uh, MJ. He's still on Pokemon Violet in my shiny box over on that one. I just have not played it since... Uh, uh, since shiny hunting on there, so we'll go back to that one soon. I still got to get a raid ready Pokemon for that game as well. I don't think I have anything for that game besides uh, Goldingo. I think that is our literal only uh, raid ready Pokemon. <clears throat> but thankfully, um, Danielle will eventually get me uh, basically the same stuff I use in this game, like uh, Esmeral, Iron Hands, and uh, Slowpoke for it. Or not slow, plo slow bro, sorry, not slow poke. But no, I have not evolved uh, Noibat yet. I don't know if I want to, here's the thing, because I'm so stubborn about like evolving my shinies. And again, much love to you for uh, getting them for me. I just don't know if I want to uh, do that yet or not. Alright, so we got five seconds before I go ahead and ready up. There we go. So whenever... uh. Nigel here is ready. We will get this raid going. All right, sweet. Nigel says Goldingo is my only raid ready. See, he's the only one uh raid ready for me for um Violet, and that was because uh, Danielle gave me one that was uh raid ready when we were finishing up the uh, decks right there uh last week. So he's literally the only one I have on that game. We do have quite a bit of shinies, though, on Violet already, I must say. Like, half a box. MJ says, I've all mine because I have two, lol. I had three A. See? That is a bad thing. When it comes down to it, like, I typically will keep a Pokemon when I uh, find them shiny. How they normally are, unless I get a double. In which case, then that's when I typically evolve them. So that way I could have the entire line. For example, like, uh, ooh, that did some damage. All right, so let's go ahead and drain punch, because that's going to get us our health back. Oh, that, yep, it's dead. <laughs> okay, that works. Yep, it's, it actually is dead. GG's, guys. I told you Iron Hands would be way better. Uh, Byron said Screech to Zaz. Dude, that Screech and that Drain Punch combo right there. It's deadly. Oh my god, we beat his ass. No, er oh, we beat him so bad he didn't give us any Herba Mystica, unfortunately. MJ says, that's how I am with Pogo. See, I don't blame you. That's how I am with most Pokemon games. If I, uh, oh, if I don't have them, I usually just keep them until I can find another one. Uh, I really started that trend when it came to uh, Arceus, especially. I was like, oh, cool, I have him. I don't want to evolve him. So that's what really started it for me was Arceus. All right, uh, we'll go check out this island. And then just kind of go from there, everybody. All right. So let's go see who we got. But yeah. I have not... And don't worry, MJ. He's still there. I have not traded him. I promise you, I've been on Pokemon Scarlet lately. Like, I know I know the consequences of trading that one. I will be a dead man. <laughs> uh, MJ says, if it has evolutions, then I get a full shiny of all. See, that's what I try to do as well nowadays. It's like, um... Go for all of them shiny, and if I if I can, you know, because time's sake and just like how annoying some of them are to get. Uh, for example, like Foy Coco, the Foy Coco that uh Danielle gave me, I definitely am always going to keep him a Foy Coco. Like uh, unless I go once again and try doing that which i also now have uh, i haven't got to mention this yet i do have a better masuda method um meryl or i'm sorry meryl <laughs> ditto um so that way maybe we'll start getting a little bit luckier with our um 
are shiny hunts on shiny Sunday for hatching eggs. So maybe, just maybe, we're a little bit, bit uh, ready for that. Byron says, be right back. Got to make a phone call. All right, no worries at all, Byron. No worries at all, brother. Um, Simon says, does anyone have a raid ready gas for now? I just got one from Byron, Simon. I, in fact, just got one from Simon. <clears throat> Better, uh, MJ says I knew an LOL better ditto. So, uh, I did have a, mis I do have a pseudo method ditto that I was using for like our egg hatching on Shiny Sunday. You know, like, uh, for example, uh, Score Bunny, how we got him shiny, uh, how we were going for Eevee. But the problem is, in the pseudo method one that I was using, it had very terrible stats, unfortunately. Just the stats were terrible on it. So I was like, shit, I need to get a better one. So Angel, uh, I was mentioning it to Angel. She's like, oh, I'll give you one. I'm like, okay, cool. So she gave me a better shiny uh, Masuda Methodita, which is Japanese. Uh, so we have one. I'm ready to go. That's just dang. I have to go back to work and get, and get into the rain. Oh, you're good, Nigel. Hey, Nigel, dude. I hope work goes uh, good for you for the rest of the day, man. I'm glad you got to at least join in some of them with us, my man. So, much, much love to you, Nigel. Oh, if nothing else, <coughs> we will switch over soon to some, uh, shiny hunting in this game, and just kind of go from there. But yeah, Simon, I just got one from, uh, Byron here, uh, because he, he gave me not only Gastrodon, Simon, but we also have a raid ready uh Claude Sire for the Greninja event as well, my man. Uh MJ says, I should be more thankful of my perfect Japanese shiny ditto. Yes, that was what Angela gave me as well for uh Masuda hunting. Uh MJ. I believe she gave you yours as well, if I'm not mistaken. Nigel says, I'm sad because this one would have helped with my de Oh, dude. That is unfortunate, man. Uh, Jeff says, got a dip, y'all. Have a rest great stream. MJ, I hope everything goes well today. Jeff, much, much love to you, dude. Much love to you. Thank you for coming in and hanging out with us, man. I hope the rest of your day goes really, really well. Simon says, you're lucky. I'm a little... Some days. I can be really lucky some days, and then some day other days, it's just like, I don't have any kind of luck. I'll tell you, the one day we were super lucky was literally, uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this one, and go from there. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get this one back up. Uh, the one day we were super lucky is that day we got 6 out of 7 of the Paradox Pokemon Shiny on, uh, Violet. That was super lucky. Uh, MJ says, uh, what all do, uh, we need for Greninja, and I want it from you. Oh, okay. I, I could remember if you want it from me or from Angel. Um, so, one thing, this is one I've recommended, personally, is Gastrodon. That is one Pokemon I've highly, highly recommended to people. And then one that uh, you guys <clears throat> have told me that you are going to be using is uh, Claude Sire, which would also not be a bad Pokemon at all. <clears throat> and however, if, um, like I said, during uh, the first day of the raid, we will definitely have uh, more information about the Pokemon. Just in case if, for example, I'm wrong for whatever reason. <clears throat> I don't, I didn't, you know, have the right information that we were given for, because we don't have much information on it right now. This is all speculation uh, for it. So, you know, what I, but what I was reading and from it and everything like that, it would seem Gastrodon would be a very, very good one to have. And you guys uh, here have been saying Claude Sire, which, from what I looked up, that would not be bad as well. Some people are also saying Vaporeon. Some people are saying Quagsire, which I would say replace Quagsire with Gastrodon, but that's just me, because that's a better move pull and better stats to me. Uh, but yeah, we have quite a few Pokemon, and like I said, we'll be doing that both Friday and Saturday. However, we will not be doing it Sunday due to the fact Sunday is, of course, our Shiny Sunday event. Uh, MJ says, Jeff, thank you. Simon says, I might have to be nice to Byron. <laughs> hey, I, hey, you have to be nice to him, man. He is my mod as well. He's on a phone call right now, too, you guys. Um, MJ says, Claude Sire and Gastro. Yes, Claude Sire and Gastrodon. That is who we uh, here have pretty much established would be good for right now to be able to use. So that way we could have something at least to try 
this Friday for him. Which, again, we will definitely, definitely do. <coughs> oh, goodness. Alright, since we didn't get anybody into this one either, since most of our Raiders are having to go to work or busy right now, I guess we will switch over to some shiny hunting, everybody. <clears throat> we did get one piece of urban mystica, however, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, for example, this is the Gastrodon that uh, Byron here got for me that is raid ready. It has leftovers, so that way it'll get health shortly over time. Uh, but here's its moves for right now. We have Earth Power, Amnesia, Chilling Water, and Recovery. So I want to... Actually, no, I'm trying to look at his moves. Just to kind of show you guys uh, what the stats are for it. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. There we go. There we go. I figured it out. Okay. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Martin? Martin, uh, before I go into some shiny hunting, are you able to uh, trade my guy? Because I do have uh, stuff for you. Uh, James asks, uh, or I'm sorry, first MJ says, I would help, but I'm not at home. And we also have Martin with a like and the share. Much love to you, Martin. Um, no worries, MJ. Uh, James says, is it really spelled Claude Sire and not Claude Sire? Uh, I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I know what one everyone's talking about. Uh, Martin says, let's not go down here. God damn, Martin. <clears throat> uh, MJ says, I hyper-trained my shiny slow bar I got yesterday. Very nice, MJ. So, all right. So, yeah. So, ours is uh, a special Pokemon, without a doubt. I might actually replace Chilling Water with something, but I'm not too terribly sure yet. So these are the moves I have for it so far. Uh, which Earth Power, which also makes it so uh, we have a chance to lower the target special defense. Amnesia, which uh, boosts our special defense. Chilling Water, which lowers the target's attack, which would be fantastic to, to the fact that he might uh, be both. And, of course, recover for it. So, those are the moves I have for him so far, as well as his special ability, which is Storm Drain. So, <clears throat> what Storm Drain does, if, he tries to, if a Pokemon tries to hit with a Water-type move, our SP is boosted, and we don't lose, and we don't take any sort of damage at all, which is definitely the move you want to have for it, is Storm Drain. Uh, Martin says I could jump on real quick, bro. Alright, sweet, bro. Uh, code is the same, Martin. 0035, so we can get you, uh, your Maridon from Shiny Sunday. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll go ahead and go to Link Trade, and go ahead and get Martin here his Maridon, everybody. Because he's patient, um, uh, Shiny Sunday, he did ask for one, uh, but he forgot the first time, and every time, like, uh, when I was, like, double and triple... Uh, dips. Unfortunately, we kept forgetting each and every time to get to him, so I was like, I'll just give it to you on stream later, which it was cool about, thankfully. So, let's do this, guys. Alright, so no worries, we're gonna go ahead and redo it. Again, this is just for Martin, guys, so we can get him a Pokemon that was promised. From Shiny Sunday, everybody. Alright, there we go. That should be Martin. A.K.A. Wolsey. Yes, it is. Alright, sweet. So let's go. Because I'm definitely going to have to give, get more cried on and ride on. Because I am out now. Because I was giving out some over on Danielle's TikTok. But I placed them over here just for you. There we go. Uh, welcome back, Daniel. Daniel, I will get a code up to trade with you momentarily as well, then. Uh, James says, yeah, I wasn't going spelling Nazi or, uh, anything. Not playing the games, I don't see them right now. Just assume it was Claude because it's a mud reference and mud brain. All right, no, you're good, man. You're good, James. Like I said, I don't know which way it's spelled either way, but either way, it is all good. And like I said, Daniel, I'll have, after I get done with, uh, 
Martin here. I will get the code back up so you and I could trade for those Pokemon for Ryan's, uh, I'm sorry, Sir Chester's uh, Discord uh, stuff. Bart says, thanks for it. You are absolutely welcome, Martin. You absolutely welcome. Uh, Daniel says, I gotta trade your team first. Alright, sweet, Daniel. Sweet. Uh, Daniel, I'm just gonna trade you some garbage. <laughs> I've gotta be honest. It's just gonna be some garbage. But Alright, sweet. Congratulations, Martin, on your shiny boy. Alright. So, we're about to trade with Danielle as well. And, uh, I... Danielle, are you giving me shiny Pokemon for your TikTok stuff later on right now as well, or is that for later? I don't know what we're doing yet. Like I said, I guess, just doing some trades first, and then after, uh, we will go do a little bit of shiny hunting, guys. Because <clears throat> we still got about, we still got about an hour left, maybe a little bit longer since I'm doing some trades right now. No, it could be fat. All right, no worries. We'll just get that back up because I think she just got back. Hey, welcome back, Byron. Welcome back, bro. We're doing some trades right now. We got Martin here as Maridon from Shiny Sunday, and we are trading Danielle for our team on uh, Sir Chester's Discord server. So you guys will get to see here too. Uh, for those of you who are not in his Discord for this event, um what we are doing. Simon says, hello, Byron. Uh, Daniel says, I can trade those two. Give me a few minutes. All right, no worries, Danielle. So that way you guys can see too, uh, here on my page, um, what I will be giving out on Daniel's TikTok account, which I believe we will not be doing that again until Wednesday, so tomorrow. Because I believe in order to keep up, we'll be doing these every other day uh, over on her TikTok page. Not ready yet. Oh, okay. No worries, Danielle. No worries. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just excited to trade with you. Just tell me when you're ready, Danielle, and I'll put the code in. Uh, one thing I definitely got to do while we have a minute, actually, is I need to go down here and buy some more repeat quick balls, guys. Because I am out. I am pretty much out with all of our shiny hunts we've been doing. All right, so let's go ahead and buy some. Oh, yeah, we uh, we can afford it. So, yeah, we only have 27 repeats, so let's go ahead and buy... Yeah, we'll buy 60. Pay with LP. Hey, what's up, Rob? How are you doing today, dude? We have also officially been live, guys, for two hours. All right, so we used our... All right, so we'll go... Yeah, because we only have 15... Of them, so we'll buy 70 quick balls and then pay with LP. Uh, so I'm gonna ask Byron, do you have a spare raid ready gastrodon? Yes, uh, Byron, Simon was wondering earlier if you could give him a raid ready gastrodon for the Grid Ninja event. Byron also Byron says it's so bittersweet seeing Hogwarts ready already downloaded on my Xbox. <laughs> uh, it's just unfortunate, man, that you uh, can't play it right now. That is the only unfortunate thing, my man. All right, so I'm going to throw down another save since we did just go, in fact, buy some uh, some desperately needed balls. I was running low on those. As many shiny as we've been doing, like, starting to run a little bit low. And then Simon also says, Freddy, please. I'm sure Simon, uh, I'm sure Simon, the buyer here, uh, We'll get you one later, my man. Uh, Byron says, not at the moment, but I probably could get one later. All right, sweet. Much love to you, Byron. Much, much love to you. Uh, so I know Simon here does not use Discord, so he's not in our Discord community, so it would have to be literally on uh, streams. <clears throat> uh, James asks, why doesn't Hogwarts play launch issues? No, it's just not out yet. It's just not out yet, my man. It doesn't come out till next month. Uh, Nigel with the clip. Wait, what did you clip, Nigel? I'm curious. <laughs> what did you clip, bro? Uh, Simon says, thank you. Hey, much love to you, Simon. And much love to you too, Byron, for helping him out. <clears throat> uh, Nigel says, praise the tech. Good God, Nigel. 
or I'm sorry, yeah, Nigel, actually. Uh, Danielle says, um, so the nose rings I bought were 16 gauge instead of 18, so basically gauge my nose. Figure say kind of. Oh, so they were t there. It was a size up from what you were normal. Ah, oh, damn. It's not that bad. Like, just be careful, Danielle, with it. And you are welcome. Uh, Martin says, do you have a raid ready quad side, bro? I do have that as well. Yes, I have uh, one from Byron that he got me. Uh, Byron says, I'll definitely get one by the time the raid starts. All right, sweet. You might want to make a couple of them, uh, Byron, for people who really, really want him for uh, the raid, both him and Claude Sire. Uh, just as a, you know, just so that way, like, uh, people here can have one ready to go. So yeah, just give us some time, guys, and we will definitely get those out to you guys. Alright, uh, Daniel, let me know when you are good to trade, dude. We're just kind of walking. Daniel says, oh, I got it in, but it didn't feel good, but I got it. Oh, God. Uh, and Daniel, you are welcome. You had to send me a picture of it, Danielle. Uh, Byron says, I'll try to get a couple of gastro and clots. All right, sweet, bro. Much love to you, Byron. Much, much love to you. Uh, Rob says, you doing raids? Uh, we just got done with doing some raids for right now, Rob. Uh, what we're doing, we're waiting for Danielle to get ready to, uh, trade some Pokemon with us. And then we're going to switch over to some shiny hunting, my man. Uh, Nigel says, what's recommended to get any Pokemon raid ready? Uh, dude, that just depends. Depends on the Pokemon, depends on the type, you know, and this and that. There's a lot of good ones uh, for raid-ready Pokemon, like Gold Goldingo, for example. And uh, just just quite a few. I'm going to check that in a second. Martin says, uh, okay, so we're wrong button. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this one up. Uh, Martin says, yeah, bro, that's cool. All right, sweet, bro, sweet. So, yeah, like I said, just give us some time. Uh, give Byron here some time, guys, because, again... He's one man person right now, uh, getting Pokemon, and uh, going from there. Uh, James says, saw an article this morning about Blizzard losing its uh, distribution partner in China. I think it means that current games have no online support either. They even know that could happen. I did hear about that that um, they are pulling out for majority of their games, which made their stock go down pretty significantly. Um, so, uh. Yeah, I heard that they are, in fact, not doing that. Alright. So, yeah, we're just waiting for Danielle to get ready to trade with us, guys. I'm going from there. But how have you been, Rob? It's been a minute since we've seen you, man. How have you been enjoying uh, Pokemon? Danielle says, just said, I know, I know. I got it. I replied to it, Danielle. Oh, goodness. Actually, I wonder what the news is. Like, if we have any more information. Uh, Greninja, that Pikachu. So, yeah. No, nothing new, unfortunately. When it comes down to it. So, what's the set? Okay, so the second time it comes back will be... The 10th through the 12th. Okay, so yeah, it'll be literally another two-week period. It'll have the Mighty Mark, which we already knew. Uh, but nothing else that we personally don't know yet. Uh, Simon says, thank you, Byron. Yes, much, much love to you, Byron, for helping out the community. Uh, Rob says, I'm in good. Just started my new job, so I haven't been on much. But Pokemon has been going... Good, got some cool shiny. Nice, bro. Who did you get shiny, Rob? All right, like I said, we're still just waiting for Daniel. Oh, to do that, but yeah, just wanted to make, just wanted to see if uh, there was any sort of new information. Ah, uh, four more trades, then I can trade you. Okay, no worries, Daniel. No worries at all. Uh, I guess we'll get another raid up then. Uh, we'll just do. We'll just. Yeah, we'll just go over here and do this one. 
Why not? Uh, Rob says, Shiny Charizard, Shiny Cinderace, Shiny Ditto, and Shiny Gyarados. Ooh, damn, dude. Those are all great shinies, actually. GG's, Rob. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this four-star one while we wait for Daniel, so why not mix them? We won't get any Urban Mystica from it, but, hey, it kills time, everybody. It kills some time. All right. Besides, four stars are stupid easy to do. So we got this. I don't know what is making that noise by me, but it needs to go away. <laughs> that is, that is annoying to hear. Uh, but Rob says I also have shiny iron hands from you. Hey, awesome, bro. Awesome. I I, I meant Rob, not Byron. God, I'm so sorry. I got, I'm getting my names confused. My bad, Rob. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yeah, but like I said, those are some damn good shinies to have there, Rob. Um, I believe I actually... Yeah, I actually have all those as well. Uh, Nigel says, if you give me some items, that might help. That is true. That is true. Might give us some good sell items or some uh, XP candies, without a doubt. And like I said, it kills a little bit of time. Danielle is currently trading right now, so uh, it'll kill us a little bit of time. Hey, what's up, Sam? How are you doing? Sam says, what's going on this afternoon? We're uh, waiting for Danielle to do some trades, my man, and we're doing a couple of raids before we go and do our shiny hunting for today's session. Oh, how are you doing today, Sam? All right. And again, doesn't matter if how old or how new you are to the community, if you want in on this one, then come on in. Come on in. It's just a four-star, like I said, so... We won't get any Urban Mystica from it, but it still is a lot of fun doing these raids with you guys. Ah, oh, Rob says, oh, I'm mid-raid. Ah, oh, no worries, Rob. No worries at all. You know how I do, man. We'll do raids uh, another day as well, dude. So it is all good, Rob. Like I said, I'll wait until it hits 45 seconds, and then I'm gonna beat up this Pokemon solo. <laughs> Uh, Sam says, working, just listening in. I hope work is going good for you today, Sam. And uh, welcome back uh, to the streams, dude. Like I said, I did not stream yesterday because I woke up super, super late in the afternoon. It was like, looked at the time, I was like, nah, I don't have time for it today. So I took yesterday off because, in fact, I was so damn tired. I was, ugh, I was just out. I didn't even hear my alarm or anything. All right. So let's see. All right, so it's not shiny, unfortunately, but I still got this. All right, I won't even have to belly drum, I don't think. I could just probably just hit him with the regular play rough after a couple times, and he'll be dead. All right, I don't remember what four-star level is. I want to say it's 50, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm not even going to have to play rough. I, I'm still going to play rough, why not? Why not? Alright, so let's go ahead and belly drum. Play rough. And then maybe, just maybe, Danielle will be done. And then we can do, uh, go from there. Uh, not just to say, I slept, uh, I slept over yesterday morning, too. <laughs> Dude, so you, you feel me on that, man. Just being so tired and much like, you don't hear your alarm or nothing like that go off. Uh, Rob says these six stars are yeah, six stars are no joke. They're depending on the Pokemon too. Like there's some that I've just given up on, and then sometimes we we'll get lucky and it's like say Breloom, uh, in the raid. So it's like oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. All right, so don't need to catch that one. That like I said, that was stupid easy. Four stars are nothing to me anymore. All right. Uh, we did get a big nugget at the very least. That wasn't too bad. And, uh, a couple of flying Terra things. Again, not too terribly bad. Hey, what's up, Pat? Pat says, I was waiting for this for an hour, and I'm late. I wanted to tell that I, uh, catch shiny, uh, watcher involved in to kill a watcher. Ooh, very nice. Very nice on that shiny catch, Pat. How are you doing today, dude? 
we got Pat with the like, and we also have Sam with the like and the fo or Samuel with the like and the follow. Thank you so much, Samuel. How are you doing today, dude? And Pat, thank you for the like as well, man. I have not found him shiny at all. Uh, what does a shiny look like, Pat? Uh, James says, fucking Masquerade has, uh, has some crazy headgear, and they decided to accent its balloons of all things. I'll never get over this t terrorized crap. Well, I mean, they're mainly, like, yeah, they don't look cool. Don't get me wrong, James. But, uh, as far as, like, battles goes, they are super interesting, without a doubt. We also have Martin with the exclamation point notified. Much love to you, Martin. Like I said, uh, yeah, they don't look cool, but when it comes to, like, actual battle and tactic-wise, they are damn cool to me for that reason. Like, I wasn't too big into them at first, uh, when I saw them. I was like, oh, that's kind of lame, but then when I started battling and getting more used to it, I was like, okay, these are actually not too terribly bad. Pat says, it's the same, but black turns a dark red. Okay, cool, man, cool. Like I said, I, f um, I feel like he's a pretty cool Pokemon. Like, I like his typing, for sure, for the game. Uh, oh, there you are. I definitely like um, his typing for the game because it's the same as Zapdos. Obviously, he's not going to have the same stats as Zapdos. But being that same type, like, definitely, definitely gives him uh, an advantage. Uh, Simon asks, Blake, how do you evolve Sneasel? Um, so to evolve Sneasel, you need an item. Um, I believe it's the Razor Claw to evolve them. Let me look. I might have one, Simon. Yeah, Razor Claw. In order to evolve them to, uh, Weavile. Uh, when it came to, like, both games, I literally just found Weavile out in the wild. It went from there. I think he's a rare spawn. But I found him, I want to say, in the Snow Mountain region. That's where I found him. All right, so let's keep going. I think we're actually possibly going to go for Sandy Gas Shiny uh, for our first one once we get done trading with uh, Danielle, guys. Where do you get it from? Uh, so the item you can get from Deli Bird Presents. If you can't get it at the school, then try this town. Um, uh, What is it, Lavincia? Yeah, Lavincia. Try Lavincia's... Um, Deli Bird presence, which would be right here on the map, ma'am. And Lavencia, like, uh, that is the way you could get it. I think you can find it in the wild, the item, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not too terribly sure about that, if I'm being honest with you. Alright, so, also, I'm looking to see if... I need to look to see which beaches... Will have Sandy Guest. Uh, Pat says, I'm trying to send a picture of my pillow wallet, but I can't find the button to send it. Uh, well, if you're trying to send it in uh, the stream, Pat, it won't be able to be sent in stream. Um, you can, however, send it in our Discord. Um, but on stream, you cannot send images, my man. You can't send images. So that's one Sandy Guest right there. Uh... James says, yeah, it's not gameplay, but balloons. It already has wings that work and those other things. I need to track down the visual designer and smack some sense into them. Well, no, actually, the balloons do kind of make sense because of the way uh, it's a reference to uh, Flying Pikachu from the 90s. Like, the Pokemon card itself, there was a Flying Pikachu and a Surfing Pikachu, and they brought those cards back for um, uh, evolutions. They were... Um, part of like uh i don't remember what they're called uh i don't remember what they were called for so but anyways yeah those two were in there so that's why the balloons like uh it's just a callback to the uh to a previous pokemon thing that they did uh simon says thanks i want to evolve shiny sneeze well, hey you are welcome my man you are well if you have trouble finding the item uh simon just let me know and i'll give it to you because i don't have a need for it right now and i know where to get them so yeah you are welcome uh, Danielle, how close are you to being able to trade? If you are still watching. Because like I said, I kind of want to go for Sandy, uh, 
gas today shine because it's a beautiful beautiful black shiny so i feel like that would be really really nice to add to the collection guys james says i do like those kind of deep cut reverence yes yeah, so that's why um that's why balloons uh pat says oh didn't know um but i uh oh didn't know but i know what's the next two targets are the Gudra and Electros that are full uh, full form. I'm going to hunt Gumi and Electric Timo uh Timo Masuda. Hey dude, that'd be good. I don't uh Gumi and Gudra, wonderful, wonderful Pokemon, without a doubt. Uh as far as Time Nutmo goes, uh I don't remember what he looks like shiny. He's one of those Pokemon that I haven't met. Oh yeah, so this might be our place for it. Um this might be a place for it. Um, damn it. <laughs> Accidentally ran into another Pokemon. Um, he, like I say, he's one Pokemon that I absolutely forget exists. Split says, I'm back, my dudes. Welcome back, Split. Welcome back. We're about to get into some shiny hunting as soon as we are able to trade with Danielle. Uh, Simon says, I have a spare for you, man. All right, sweet, bro, sweet. Uh, like I said, uh, I wasn't sure if you could f if you were having trouble finding the item. I was just gonna go ahead and give you mine from my personal collection. Uh, Pat says it's yellow with brownish belly. Okay, all right, man. Like I said, I honestly could not remember what he looked like. Gumi and Gudra, however, absolutely fantastic Pokemon and fantastic shinies, without a doubt. I remember uh, Goom uh Actually, Gudra was one of my last Pokemon to get for this game. Uh, for the uh, shiny charm. Just due to the fact that um, it has to evolve with rain, and every time it rained, I went to go grab it, but as soon as I grabbed it in my box, uh, it was gone, unfortunately. Alright, so let's see. For this one, Deli Bird, not too bad. Like I said, right now I'm just waiting for Danielle, kind of looking around to see if we can't. Get an overall shiny. That'd be kind of interesting. Um, that's Gudra. Electric is green. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were talking about Timo. Uh, I was gonna say I know what Gudra looks like shiny. I thought you were talking about uh, uh, the other one. My bad, Pat. My bad, bro. Yeah. Uh, what I can't honestly. One thing I can't wait for is when Home comes out. Like I'll be able to uh, transfer a Hisui in. Uh, Gudra over here, which looks really, really interesting. Like, they made him thick for some reason. They made Gudra a thick boy. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, we're definitely going to do a Sandy Guest uh, hunt as soon as we could trade with Danielle. But she said a minute ago that she only had four. Le Why did this disappear? Okay. Uh, Split says, are we doing a call later? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. For uh, Daniel's going to be doing a Facebook uh, stream later on, Split. I don't know what game, but yeah, I will definitely, definitely have a call up for that. And plus, uh, you guys here, I believe she will be getting us some shiny Pokemon as well. Uh, so that way you guys can see what you can win from me over on her TikTok stuff. Uh, Pat says, "Me too. My shiny Charmander is waiting for me in my home P in my home PC." Yeah, dude. Like, uh, I can't wait for home to be like compatible with the game, without a doubt. That just says Teddy. <laughs> Good God, Nigel. Uh, Daniel says, "One more trade." All right, sweet Daniel. No worries at all, dude. Split says, "All right, cool." And uh, Daniel says, "Me and Mitchell are gonna do multiplayer." Uh, for Modern Warfare 2. All right, no worries, Daniel. You know I'll still be there for uh, for that, and I'll probably actually uh, work on uh, organizing my boxes a little bit while uh, giving out commentary to the community. Uh, Split says shiny, 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 shiny. Uh, God, I really want him shiny. That'd be a nice one to have. Uh, Daniel says multiplayer. No, no, no. I know what you meant. I know. Oh my God, what the. F he just went to space. <laughs> I know what you meant, Danielle. Um, Martin says, I can't wait for raids Friday slash Saturday, bro. I just need to sort out a Pokemon for the raid. Hey, like I said, Byron here, um, he will be getting... Uh, again, if you get one from him, make sure to thank him, you guys. Um, he will be having both Gastrodons and Claude Sires that are raid ready uh, for the event. 
for you guys uh, out there. So, for example, Simon needs one. He was asking for one, so he's going to be uh, working on those for the event. So make sure to keep an eye out for them. And like I said, just thank him because he's doing this on his own time. Um, Pat says, but when I Google it, it said it's going to be in spring. Yeah, uh, we don't have a time of reference right now for it. Um, all we know is spring, but it again, it can in fact be delayed, unfortunately. Uh, because like we waited a very, very good long while for um, Pokemon uh, Di Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, uh, for home as well as Arceus, but at that point. People were done with uh, Diamond and Pearl and were um mo were moving on to you know Arceus or other games. So at that point, like just when it came out, nobody cared at that point. Um, MJ says so we get uh so we get some yeah so like he'll have some ready um for uh before the event uh pro possibly the day of it, and like I said, just make sure to thank him because like he is also a very hardworking man who is uh doing that solo for you guys so that's all i ask of you guys is if he gives you one just make sure to thank him he'll have claude sire and gastrodon for it if i'm not mistaken martin says i know yeah bro all right yeah yeah no no martin here knows martin here knows martin here might give me a lot of shit on both uh my stuff and danielle's uh tiktok but like i said he's a great community member he's the kind of community member i absolutely love that can not only take a joke, but he can give it right back to you. I, I absolutely love that about you, Barton. <coughs> oh, goodness. I can trade now. Alright, sweet, Danielle. Code is the same as always. 0035. Alright, sweet. So let's get this up to trade with Danielle. So these are going to be... uh. My Pokemon that I'm going to be using over in Sir Chester's uh, Pokemon League Discord server that he's uh, that he has up, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'm an Elite Four member over there, as well as Danielle and uh, a couple of other friends of ours. And, um, yeah, she got my team ready for me, which much love to you for that, Danielle, because, you know, I'm kind of dumb. And I don't know how to do this stuff. Um, and also, she's giving, I believe she's also giving me some shiny Pokemon that I will be giving out over on her TikTok. So if you guys haven't already, which I know a lot of you have, because I've seen Martin over there, for example, Martin and Nigel, um, make sure to definitely, definitely go give her a follow. So let's go ahead and trade this one first for our Charizard. I definitely wanted Charizard, guys, for my team, because as you guys know, Charizard is my favorite. Pat says, what type are you representing? Uh, so he allowed us to do two types for it. So I will be using... Fire and Steel as my main ones. However, I will explain what the last Pokemon is when we get to that. And she made him shiny for me, too, because why not? I'm an Elite Four member. Uh, flex. I probably just made some people lose their lunch right there, but still. <laughs> Spliff says, how Blake has Tic Tac? I have it for work purposes, Spliff. That is it. I'm only following Danielle and Sir Chester on there, and I literally use it for work purposes. That is it. I didn't want to make one, but at the same time, I got to show my best friend here some love, and same with my diddle partner. I got to show them some love, everybody. All right, there we go. My second one is a Salazzle. Oop. <laughs> Salazzle's a damn good Pokemon to have for this team. Uh, Pat says, Terrifier or Steel Strong Pseudo, I guess. Uh, you are incorrect for it. So, like, um, the Pokemon I have for the last one, because I've already explained the rules, the last one I have to Terra for um, this event, for, these raid, uh, for, these, for this event thing that he has going on. So, my last one, uh, which will be the last Pokemon in there, um... We will go there. Uh, not just that many people are following you there so far. Uh, on what, uh, what, tic uh, TikTok, dude? Like, I don't post anything on there. I, I don't plan on doing that. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't plan on posting anything on there. Like I said, it's literally just to, uh, support, uh, Danielle and Sir Chester. 
Um, Jade says, don't front. You stay up all night watching TikTok like everyone. No, no, I really don't. I, I, TikTok was just not my thing, my, my man. It literally wasn't. Uh, but yeah. Um, Simon says, why you are Trey? Do you want this sneezle? Uh, maybe, man. Maybe. We'll see, bro. Like I said, after this, I plan on just doing some, uh, shine, uh, some shiny hunting, my man. But much love to you, Simon. Alright, so here is the third member on my team. It is Armoru. Uh, I've seen, uh, Byron use his. I thought he was a fantastic fire Pokemon as well. And, uh, just went from there. And I just says, yeah, TikTok, when I followed you to the Roland Chair, I think I have maybe, like, four people. That's basically, like, uh, Danielle, Sir Chester, you, and, uh, I believe Colton as well. I believe Colton. Uh, Daniel says, I might be slow. So co-worker brought her daughter. Oh, God, Daniel has gotten squirrel mode chat because of a puppy. <laughs> uh, it's all good, Daniel. All right, so let's see our third member of my team for it. Now you guys are going to start seeing the steel types that I picked, which I think you guys are going to like these guys. We have Tinkaton. Tinkaton, fantastic Pokemon. And it does have steel type. It's first one is fairy, but I asked him, like, uh, it does have steel in it. Can I do that one? He goes, yeah, sure. As long as it has steel in it. I was like, cool. I'll definitely pick him. Uh, Pat says, oh, I forgot to tell, uh, what, uh, what, uh, Wadril, good god, I can't say that name, was my fastest hunt ever, 4 minutes and 31 seconds. Hell yeah, bro. Dude, that is a good one to have. Uh, my fastest shining hunt would probably be like a minute, honestly. A minute in and we got a shiny Pokemon. Uh, if even that, which was Iron Hands, like, he was stupid fast to get. Danielle says, and yes, I did adjust the Terra types for you. Much love to you, Danielle. Again, you know for a fact I appreciate you, Danielle. And I'm looking forward to uh, chatting it up with you and your community. If you guys haven't, yeah, again, like I said, we're going to be over on Danielle's Facebook page. Uh, make sure to go follow her on Facebook, guys. We do a lot of the same stuff over there. We joke around, have fun, and we love seeing you guys over there as well. All right, I don't even remember my uh, I, I don't even remember my third one or. My second steel type that I picked. Caesar. That's right. I picked Caesar for it. Um Daniel says, My fastest hunt was Teddy Ursa. Found him within a minute of the sandwich. I remember you telling me that and I was like, Are you kidding me right now? Uh but yeah, my fastest hunt is probably Iron Hands because like I was literally going for uh Iron Thorns and legitimately did not expect to find him before I found uh the other one, which was incredibly amazing. Uh, Pat says, but I only have three shinies. Gillimore, 52 minutes. Varum, 15 minutes. And Wild World, four and a half minutes. Hey, dude, those are all really good ones. I actually don't have Varum yet, surprisingly. Gillimore is also a good one to have. And then here, guys, is the last Pokemon for my team when it comes to Sir Chester's Discord. So let's see what it is. I already know what it is. You guys will have to wait and see. And we have officially, guys, been live for two and a half hours, everybody. There we go. Iron Thorns is my final Pokemon, in which I will Terra him into a fire type for it. Which that I have to do, so it'll be literally my last Pokemon for it, but. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. And I'm going to move these guys over when I start organizing my box just a little bit better. Because I definitely need to get organized, unfortunately. Which I'll be doing that while uh, chatting it up in Daniel's uh, stream today, guys. So I hope to see you guys there. Like We have a lot of fun there. I know I've seen uh, quite a few of you over there as well. So look forward to seeing each and every one of you over there that I possibly can. Pat says, aren't Paradarts banned in competitive Pokemon? Well, this isn't a... Uh, well, uh, I don't know, actually. I haven't looked up the rules for this one yet, but um, he's allowing it. Uh, he's only allowing it for uh, Elite Four members, if I remember correctly. So I'm able to use one as well as Danielle and all this and that. He's making his rules for it 
and everything like that. Because we want to make it a challenge for people in this community. Like, and I'm pretty good at Pokemon, without a doubt, as you guys know. So, hopefully, uh, I can make this not only fun, but just a little bit of a challenge for uh, his community. Definitely look forward to it. Alright, and that is our final teammate for my team in Chester. So, let me go over here and start trading for uh, Chinese for her TikTok. So, you guys can see what exactly we have. Oh, she's giving us eggs for it. Ooh, so I won't even know. Just keep it a mystery, even for me, everybody. But yeah, like I said, we'll be doing that uh, for her TikTok uh, Wednesday and going from there. Uh, Nigel says, puppies are, an awesome, are awesome. There's a cane uh, corso Ma uh, massive mix, if I remember, cor if I remember correctly. Okay, I hope I pronounced that right. I'm, again, not the smartest man in the world, but I try my best. And yes, puppies are awesome. Anybody that doesn't like puppies and kittens, uh, they are possibly evil. Um, Pat says, and what types does Danielle uh use? Um, I believe she is using, uh, Fairy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Simon says, I can't get, I can't get talk talk. Oh, you're good, Simon. You are good, bro. Uh, Colton says, Blake, when are you gonna make your squirrel army? Oh, God. Never is the answer to that, Colton. Never, my guy. Nigel says, I have my work. Oh, do you work with, uh, animals, Nigel? So that is awesome. I know for a fact Danielle would be a little bit jealous for that. But yeah, these are going to be shiny eggs that we will give out um, on uh, Danielle's TikTok, guys. So, again, if you get me while you're on there, because, again, I see some of you guys over there, like Colton, for example, then make sure to not back out when you get me. Uh, and I just says I love Great Danes. I actually used to have one. Uh, we had one, uh, but she got, she got really, really old and Unfortunately, it was getting arthritis to the point of where she could not stand anymore. Unfortunately, this was years ago. Uh, yes, so Danielle will be running Psychic and Fairy as her two types for it. Oh. Oh, no. It did that. Okay, it did that to us uh, yesterday, so I'll go ahead and get it back up, Danielle. Ah, uh, I hate when it does that. All right, so let's go ahead and get that trade back up with Danielle. It, it's it's done that for us for quite a few times, unfortunately. Uh, Pat says, everyone, let's spam Peter Griffin. <laughs> no. Oh, God, I hate the Peter Griffin squirrel Pokemon. It is the worst. Pat says, oh, okay, yeah. She has a really good team as well. So I'm looking forward to being able to battle with you guys. And especially for Sir Chester. It's a lot it's gonna be a lot of fun. He's doing it really well organized, I believe. We're about a week out until we can officially start it. I'm not too terribly sure yet. I think we're about a week away from starting starting, I believe, next week is when we do it. Um, not just says no, I work in picture framing with uh my boss just brings her lazy dog to work and we get to love on him. Hey dude, that is a great perk right there of working there then, my man. Getting a pet the good boy. Make sure he gets all the belly scratches, Nigel. Alrighty. I said the egg at the bottom corner was one that somebody had traded me on uh, Danielle's TikTok, but I'm afraid to hatch it just in case if it wasn't done correctly, so that one I'm probably never going to trade. Uh, Pat says, Sewerage with Shadow Claw and River Room with Iron Head would make against uh, make that fight against Danielle easy. Hey, dude. Look. Don't knock her team yet. You don't even know what she has, Pat. She has a really, really good team, without a doubt. Ah! I, I did not cancel a trade there, game. I thought it, like, uh... I thought it, like, completely uh, messed up on us right there. <coughs> there we go. Sending score bunny to Danielle. Sweet.
Uh, like I said, Pat, we have about we have about a week till we officially start it over in Suchesta's Discord. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely looking forward to it without a doubt. All right, so next egg. I'm sorry, next hog, and go from there. But like I said, all these will be given away on Daniel's TikTok, and we do do a voice call on there. Uh, so that way you can hear both of us uh, talking, communicating, making jokes, and just talking to you guys out there. Which she has been doing really, really well over on TikTok, guys. Like, I am super, super proud of her. Like, she's been blowing up right now. Um, MJ says, I got a referral to a cardiologist. Uh, I hope everything's okay, MJ. Um, Nigel says, I've only not lived with Great Danes the last four years because I moved out of my parents. Oh, so you've been around them for a very, very long time, then, Nigel. Damn, dude. Very, very nice. Sam says, who's Discord link uh, up now? That is mine. That is my Discord, uh, Sam. So that is for my Discord right there. Uh, Pat says, is it singles or doubles? I believe we are doing it as singles, my man. We are doing it as single battles. All right, there we go. Got another egg. But yeah, that's mine uh, on it. But I also have it said to like people that I highly recommend, so, such as Sir Chesta and Danielle. Like, you know, their stuff is on there as well. Um, but majority of it, anyways. We still got to work on getting Danielle's new uh, Discord up in there, so that way you guys can go follow her as well. Same with Sir Chester for his uh, TikTok as well as his Discord and stuff. It's just everybody's been super, super busy working on stuff, so we haven't really had the time to do that yet. But uh, I know for a fact Danielle's TikTok is in fact uh in my discord so we do have hers in there i think i have sir chester's as well but i'm not too sure right now uh mj says they don't lie when they say stress will kill oh yeah stress will definitely be the death of people mj without a doubt dude but like i said i hope everything is okay for you dude and you know for a fact we are here for you dude uh, Sam says, yeah, I just went and added, hey, much love to you, Sam, much love to you, bro. Uh, and I just says, like, 26 years living with them, but I still hang out with my parents and their puppies. Hey, oh, excuse me. That is awesome, bro. That is awesome. See, like, the majority, uh, the dog that, or the type breed that I have, uh, been around primarily most of my life would have to be possibly pit bulls and huskies. Those are the main two that I've probably been around the most my entire life. Uh, Pat says, unless Danielle has Palooza, then uh, I fucked, or are your Pokemon teams IV train? Uh, you'll have to wait and see, Pat. You will have to wait and see. MJ says, I'm a red flag. They said, I'll get a call within the week. Damn, dude. MJ, I hope things get better for you. With that, I really, really hope they do. Oh, goodness. Pat says, because I'm planning to fire... Well, it's not here that we're doing it. Uh, Pat, like I said, it's over in Sir Chester's Discord. This is for his stuff that we're doing it. But both Danielle and myself are, in fact, Elite Four members. And plus, he's a really, really good friend of ours. So as soon as he made it, like we jumped at the opportunity. Danielle was telling me about it and told me that I should do it as well. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I got time. I got time for it. Uh, Byron says pit bulls are the best. Ah, uh, so, sometimes they have bad gas. I'll say that pit bulls, they have real bad gas. Um, Pat says whispers. Danielle, are the Pokemon IV trained? Probably. Yep, she probably uh, she probably IV trained them as well. Pat. Martin says right. I'm back for 20 minutes. What did I miss? Ah, uh, not much, man. Not much, Martin. We uh, Danielle and I are trading. She gave me my Pokemon for um for our Pokemon League thing that we're doing over in Sir Chester's Discord. And right now she's giving me eggs for her TikTok streams, my man. So that's pretty much all you missed, my guy. That is pretty much all you missed. MJ says, my grandpa had two pacemakers and nine hearts. At Damn. Holy shit. I am so, so sorry, MJ. Goodness. 
Oh, man. Uh, James says, I have a little... Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I did not cancel the trade. Um, sh uh, a P-word shits who makes. He is hilariously uh, exaggerated a hundred fight. <laughs> Dude, kind of like pugs. Pugs definitely, definitely have that. So, cause my pug has an overbite. What was making fun of him for it, too? It's like, are oh, you showing your tooth, little failure? Martin says, nice. Nice. And Danielle says yes to uh, Pat's question. So, yeah. Danielle, I would argue Danielle is probably um, uh, just as good, if not better than me when it comes to Pokemon, without a doubt. Uh, we uh, we had a little discussion. She was like, I bet I could kick your ass in this game. I'm like, is that a challenge right now? And she goes, no. <laughs> but I guarantee you, like, if given the opportunity, if me and her were to battle here, she would beat me. She would most likely beat me. Uh, Danielle says, I love, uh, Pat Flynn. I have no idea what, how to even pronounce that, let alone what, uh, breed of uh, dog this. Nigel says, I'm not too fond of pit bulls. Uh, uh, pit bulls get a bad rep, unfortunately, but honestly, like, uh, they, pit bulls can be good dogs, without a doubt. Um, it's chihuahuas that we have to work, uh, we have to, uh, look at, that, 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 uh, look for because those are evil little shitheads. Uh, MJ says I had two two bullies, dude. I had plenty of bullies back in uh school and shit like that, but uh, which probably contributed to me being an angry individual when I was younger. But definitely, that I, I still have bullies. Don't get me wrong, I definitely still have them. But I don't give a shit. Let them be. Let them be little assholes. Uh, James says, "Me too. My aunt keeps uh keeps them so cute with those butterfly ears." Danielle says, "Papillon, papillons, papillons." I hope I'm saying that right. Pat says, "Shit, it's bye bye, Danielle." If Danielle has uh Blizzy, or as we call him here, piece of shit bitch fish. Uh, Pat says, "I had five bullies. Yeah, bullying. It sucks. It definitely, definitely, definitely sucks." Like I said. Uh, Daniel says, okay, sweet, sweet, so I, uh, uh, I said it right, uh, if Jay says, no, I'm talking about the, oh, I feel dumb, <laughs> my bad, MJ, my bad, dude, uh, James says, Papillon, uh, they're little dogs the size of a Yorkie with big butterfly ears, uh, Papillon is French for butterfly, okay, man, say, i am don't think I've ever heard that before, honestly. I think this is my first time ever uh, hearing about that. And my bad, I got you over here talking about school bullies for some fucking reason. <laughs> Oops. Uh, right now, we have a pug uh, who, he, like I said, he's uh, getting up there in age, unfortunately. He, uh, at one point, like, his kidneys were uh, really, really doing bad when we took him to the vet. Um, but I've had him for almost 13 years now, without a doubt. Um, and that just says, the people were not as hyper. I would like them better, but they're just too hyper for me. Like I said, it always depends on the dog, man. Pat says, could someone tell me what types the other uh, Elite Four, uh, what other types you use the other Elite Four members so I could prepare? Ah, uh, hmm. I honestly don't remember, because the other two, uh, one of them is Mitchell, who's a friend and moderator here, and the other one is a friend of mine I haven't talked to in a uh, while. Um, I call him Edgar. Um, I can't remember what he uses. But in order to fight us, you have to beat the um, gym leaders first, anyways. Um, oh god, I'm getting a little bit lost in chat. One second. Colton said, uh, okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so Daniel says, my old roommate has a Papillon. He's gorgeous. Like I said, you know, someone had to send me a picture because I had no idea what type of dog. Uh, Colin says, I made my bullies scared of me when I knocked out, uh, knocked my six foot two uh, bully over a bush and everyone in front of school. Dude, that's the best way to do it. Just stand up for yourself, my man. Yeah, you get tired of shit and just bah! Uh, James says, they're such gorgeous little dogs. Like I said, I'll have to definitely look up, uh, what they are. Dra Daniel says, Dragon and Steel is one. 
Not sure when Mitchell. Actually, no. Uh, he had to switch, Danielle. He switched from Steel because he uh, because we didn't communicate all that well. So uh, when he saw that I was using a uh, Steel type Pokemon, he was like, "Oh no." <laughs> Uh, Martin says I had a bully at school till one uh till one I stood up to him and stuck him on a hook on the back of the door and left him there screaming <laughs> and they never found him. Pat says thanks. Um yeah, I think he uh I think he switched from steel type to something else because as soon as he saw I was using steel type too when my banner got done, it was like, oh no, we got Dylan with the like. What's up, Dylan? How are you doing today, dude? Uh, James says, yeah, I got confused. I thought the bully talk was about Bulldog. No, I, no, I ended up getting confused. I, th I thought the bully talk was literally about, like, a school bully type of situation. So that is my bad. Daniel says, oh, yeah. So Edgar, I think, switched uh, his secondary uh, Pokemon, which was Steel. Dylan says, hey, everyone. Hey, Dylan, how are you doing today? Okay, so uh, I'm going to switch some of these boys. Uh, Daniel, how many more do you have for uh, your TikTok giveaway for me? All right, there we go. Uh, nope, I did not cancel the trade game. There we go. Like I said, definitely going to organize my boxes a little bit better. But how are you doing today, Dylan? But yeah, it is raining, unfortunately. Martin says, no, I still see him now and again. And he just... He just does big eyes at uh, me and says nothing. Hey, man, you scared him into submission, my man. Uh, Daniel says, do an advert. Oh, God. All right, sweet. All right, I got this, Daniel. We got this. Uh, Pat says, but I could uh, but I could not have time to prepare. I had some, uh, something and couldn't get on or fail to beat gym leaders. All right, so hang on. Um. So yeah, like I said, it's over in Sir Chester's Discord, um, which currently I don't have a link to right now, unfortunately. But like I said, there are eight gym leaders, which uh, according, uh, if I remember correctly what he said, you can fight the gym leaders in any order, uh, but you have to beat them before you can initial, uh, do a challenge to us Elite Four members. I believe you can fight us Elite Four members in any uh, order as well, uh, just due to timing constraints. So like, like, say, for example, one of the gym leaders is busy and they can't uh, battle right now. Or one of us Elite Four members, we busy and we can't do it right now. Um, we just kind of go from there, for which makes a lot of sense. Because, again, guys, we're doing this for fun over in his Discord. And uh, we just um, don't, we don't get a lot of time, uh, free time to ourselves. So it's something we're doing on our free time form and something that we are definitely, definitely going to have fun with as well. <coughs> oh goodness all right so we're doing a lot of trade and then after we get done with the trades guys um we will in fact do at least one shiny hunt today hey, everybody uh all right so let's go ahead and do this one And like I said, when it comes to um, his thing too, he's making a list of rules out uh, for it uh, and everything like that. So it's going to be a ton of fun to do. Like I'm really, really looking forward to it. And plus, he knows I'm I'm very, very knowledgeable at these games. Daniel says one more egg after this, and then the rest are Pokemon. All right, sweet Daniel, sweet. So that way you guys out there will get to see, have a little bit of a sneak peek of um, what I will be giving away on Daniel's TikTok, which will not be until Wednesday, everybody. All right, so this will be the last egg, and then we will trade for regular Pokemon. So that way, it gives you guys, and Daniel, uh, if, uh, if you want, please go ahead and post your TikTok or your Facebook or both 
in the chat so that way people know where to go follow you. Because like I said, she'll be doing uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer today in Facebook. And uh, yours truly will be there in a call. Uh, her and our good friend Mitchell will be playing it. I personally don't have the game right now, so I will just be there for commentary relief and just have fun. Because I love talking to my friends, guys. Alright, so let's see who the first one is. Ooh, it is Jeffrey the Giraffe's grown-up cousin, Alfred. I did not cancel the trade there. Alright, I believe Sam said he joined the Discord, in which he did. Welcome, welcome. So let me go ahead and close that back down. Uh, Daniel says the three more of these. All right, sweet, Daniel. Uh, that just gives me three more opportunities to say Jeffrey the Giraffe's uh, cousin. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm definitely going to organize my boxes uh, during Danielle's session today. Uh, so that way, guys, I know where everything is, hopefully, because my boxes, as you guys can tell, completely unorganized, and it it bothers me because I like having stuff neat organized to the point of where, like, I know where everything is at. The only thing that I have for that right now is um, are my shiny Pokemon. Jeffrey the Giraffe's cousin, uh, other cousin, we'll name this one, uh, we'll name this one Jonathan. We'll name this one Jonathan. We got, Je we got Jeffrey, we got Alfred, and we got Jonathan, guys. Alright, I need to fill up my vapor a little bit. Oh, this one trades. Uh, well, one thing I'm definitely gonna do for, uh, which I talked about a little bit. This shiny Sunday, guys, like how we did for um, oh, the one that we had a couple days ago, we are going to um, do another, like, uh, if you get this, po if you hatch this Pokemon first, you get a big prize sort of thing. I really, really love that. It was a ton of fun. And uh, we just kind of go from there. Uh, and I just says that's a pretty shiny. It is a really cool shiny. It's a cool Pokemon, without a doubt. <clears throat> I was surprised that... Uh, it took us this long to get it. Yes, thank you, Martin. Martin says that. Uh, that's Sir Chester Discord. Bro, much love to you, Martin. Thank you for doing that, man. So, yeah. If you guys want to be a part of the Pokemon League, make sure to go into his Discord. And, uh, like I said, we're still setting it up. It's still going to be a ton of fun to do. And, like I said, I'm an Elite Four member, which I have my own spot in there, too. So, for anybody that goes and sees, like, Elite Four uh, Blake, and you see my spot. Ooh, we got the Iron Santa Claus bird. Uh, you guys will see, like, I've made my description for my stuff just a little bit cocky. But it's fun. Like, everybody that knows me knows I'm, I'm not a cocky SOB at all. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right, let's get it back up, Daniel. Oh, God. I hate when the game does that. Oh, goodness. But yeah, so guys, if you guys can, make sure to go into Sir Chester's Discord. Uh, let him know I sent you, too. Like, I'm sure he would appreciate that. Martin says, I hope you don't mind me doing that. No, 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 you're good, man. Uh, like I said, <clears throat> when it comes to Danielle and Sir Chester, I give them full, full permission to, um, you know, to post their stuff, uh, their links and everything like that about it. It's just like, if it comes to other people, like, we had one person that came in, was trying to promote something, and I deleted it, and I was like, yeah, no, you can't do it. He didn't even ask for permission or anything like that. Okay. But no, you are absolutely good, Martin. I appreciate you doing that. <clears throat> uh, Martin says, I just hear you on about it. No, you're good, man. Trust me. I appreciate you doing that, Martin. <clears throat> like I said, I just I can't do it right now because I'm a little bit busy doing some trades. Get some dude ass. So, Martin, uh, I'm taking it you are in Sir Chester's Discord, man. What do you think about my Elite Four uh, intro thing that I put? Like I said, 
I made it a little bit cocky. Uh, but again, it's all for fun. And Danielle, <laughs> when she posted hers, she said, hey, I'm nicer than Blake. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm nice. Kind of. <clears throat> <coughs> oh goodness. Uh let's see. Scream tail, that's a great one to have for it. <clears throat> I did not cancel a trade there, game. Uh, Martin says, I've not looked, uh, I've not looked just, uh, just yet, bro. Hey, wait till you see it, man. It's pretty funny. Danielle says, nice. I am very nice, Danielle. I don't know what you mean. I'm not that, I'm not that mean. Kind of. <laughs> God damn it, Nigel. Nigel says, Daddy, you're, you're only nice with the after <laughs> God damn it, Nigel. I hate that that's the legacy I'm going to leave behind, that you guys call me the D word. Oh, good God. Who laughed at that? Martin. Martin laughing at Daniel's quotation of nice, too. All right. Let's get our next one up and going. Uh, so we definitely got some good Pokemon to give out to you guys over on Danielle's TikTok. Martin laughing. <clears throat> what are you saying, Martin? Are you a D <laughs> Daniels' D ward dick? <laughs> yeah, everybody in chat is calling me a dick, and Martin just going, eh. <laughs> Byron says I should have named his cast crew Danny. I would have immediately deleted it, Byron. Martin says it was me. God damn. Stop calling me the D-word. I hate that. I fucking hate that chat. God damn it. Uh, people have started literally calling me that in Danielle's TikTok stuff, too. I fucking, I fucking hate it. Simon says, LOL. Bro, it's so bad. It's, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. And my buddy Dakota knows I don't like it either. So, you, oh, like, we were playing it last night. And I was like, hey, do you need this? He goes, yes, daddy. I'm like, God, don't you fucking start. God damn it, Danielle. Danielle spelling it out in chat. Danielle can spell everybody. It's a miracle. Don't hurt me, Danielle. Oh, I hate that so fucking much. It makes my dick play turtle. Fucking hate it. Ugh. <clears throat> Danielle says my comments sent out of order. Wait, did they really? Hold up, hold up. D D A T Y. Oh, yes, it did. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Oh, good God. Byron says she spelled it wrong. Byron says, just wait next time we trade. I'm never trading with you again, Martin. I, I know you too, though. You have something shitty planned. And a quad sire. Uh, Colton says, you were the one who called yourself Big Daddy yesterday on Danielle's screen. I did not, Colton. I want, I want proof, Colton. I want fucking proof. I did not call myself that. We have Martin laughing, and we have officially been live, guys, for three hours. <clears throat> Daniel says, I thought I spelt it wrong, but I refreshed the stream, and it fixed it. Well, not for us, Daniel. Nigel says, he did. I was witness to that. Daniel says, he did. I don't remember saying that. What the fuck? Like, somebody, Daniel, when you get time, go back in there. Find where I supposedly said this. And, and said it to me, because I don't remember saying this at all. I think you guys are smoking crack or something. <clears throat> Byron says, I heard it. No, you, no, you're just getting on the, you're trying to make me look like I'm going insane train. I'm not going insane, chat. I did not do anything. And <laughs> Gold says, I got witness. 
Oh, good God. Uh, okay, so yeah. Uh, nope, I need that one. That is my Masuda method, ditto. Daniel says there's no way to go back to it. Ah, I guess it never happened then. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You guys are all smoking crack. Oh, goodness. Uh, Daniel, how many more do we have uh, to trade? Because uh, a minute ago she did say two and a half rows, but I don't remember how many ro oh, rows ago that was. Swalot. Ooh, that's a that's actually a really cool. I keep knocking everything over right now, chat. Oh, where'd that go? One of my DS. Oh, that's a really really cool one. Uh, Martin says I need that little blue dot. I probably have another one I can get you later, Martin. <clears throat> I have another one I could probably give you later, my man, if you need him. Like I will have a thing later on to. I have it to where, like, I have, like, the starter Pokemon, like, not shiny or shiny, you know, depending on which one, and make it so, uh, you guys can get them. So, I'll make sure to have a box, at least, for that. Alright, so let's go ahead and trade the Slowking. Uh, Colton says, you said it when you mentioned there was another Blake trading that back out. Oh! Ah, uh, uh, you misheard me, uh. You misheard me then, Colton. You know, old, old age is getting to you guys. I, uh. I uh I don't know what you guys are talking about. I would never say anything that that juvenile called like what do you mean, bro? I would never. I am a mature, responsible individual with an itchy nose right now. Good God. Uh no, it just says despite my access to that stuff, I don't touch it. Hey, fair enough, man. Danielle says, Stop lying, Blake. I would never lie, Danielle. I have never lied a day in my life. Name one thing. Danielle, I've ever lied to you about. All right, we got right you, and we got Ryan with the like. What's up, Ryan? How are you doing today, bro? Danielle saying I'm lying. That's just so rude. Oh, we got Edna the bird. Uh, <laughs> Byron says nose itches because you lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. My nose just itches. Daniel says two more. All right, sweet, Daniel. Sweet. Uh, Byron, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't lie, bro. I don't lie. James says, yeah, big. Doesn't lie. God damn it, James. Yeah, I don't lie, guys. Colton says, I'm 24. I'm not old. Oh, man. I think Colton here is starting to go a little bit senile, guys. It's probably time to put him in the nursing home. Daniel says, no stitches because you're a liar. My nose itches because my damn nose itches. What do you mean? Uh, I'll save that one for Martin. Uh, since he says he needs a duck. Small of... Uh, Ryan says, another long day of work. Anyone wants a uh, job swap? Uh, I don't. I love my job right now. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Uh, but welcome back, bro. Welcome back to the streams. <clears throat> Martin says, yeah, I don't need him, uh, shining. Just need him to add to the Pokedex. Alright, yeah. I'll save that. I'll save that, uh, Quaxi for you then, my man. Oh, are you kidding me? We literally had two more Pokemon left, and it does that stupid... Ah. Alright, I get it back up. Uh, we got Roger with a like as well. What's up, Roger? It's been a minute. How are you doing, dude? Alright, so let's go ahead and get this trade back up. Let's go from there. Yeah, Martin, I'll, I, I do have another Quack I can give you. I thought about you soon. I said, saw my man. So don't worry. I'll give it to you, and then we'll start our shiny hunting. Alright, there we go. Trade partner has been found. Because we literally only had two Pokemon left right there to trade. Alright, there we go. We got Danielle back. But like I said, guys, these will be for giveaway over on her uh over on her TikTok. So make sure you guys go follow her TikTok page. Uh Daniel says small of his last one. Alright, sweet. So yeah, we literally have the last one. Martin says you were legend. God damn it. God damn it, Martin. Now Martin doesn't get nothing. No, I'll give you this quick, actually. Oh my god, game. Can you, uh, please, for the love of god, let us trade? I think the way I'll do it for your TikTok, Danielle, is kind of mixed up where it's like a couple of eggs, po shiny Pokemon that's out of box, a couple of eggs, shiny, a couple of eggs, shiny, that sort of thing. Martin says, I'm not on yet, bro. I'm just about to put my son to bed. Alright, no worries, man. If I don't get it to you today, Martin, you know for a fact, uh, I will get it to you later. Uh, 
check this for a game. Like, oh god, what the fuck am I looking for? General. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> Alright, so Small of was our last one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Byron says, it must be Pokemon servers that kicked me earlier when trading. Yeah, because that's our second or third time that it is literally um, done that. I think Small of was our last one. I'm not too sure. I think that's what Danielle said. Uh, Martin says, yeah, just as uh, and Winber. Okay, yeah, yeah. No worries, Martin. You know I got you, dude. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that was our last one. So we got the Small of. Uh, I will move those Pokemon over uh, once I'm off stream. I go from there. Danielle calling me a liar in my own Discord. <laughs> and she did it again. That's a lie, and you know it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we have enough time, guys, to at least do one shiny on here. So we're going to get a little bit low. Like I said, we are going to go for uh, Sandy Gas, because I feel like that would be a damn cool Pokemon to add to the collection. Which, I do need to look up what we need for Ghost. Uh, to make sure that I actually have the ingredient for it. So let me see. Um, ghost, ghost. Where is ghost? I don't see it right now. Where is he? Ghost. Two red onion. Uh, I don't actually know if I have red onion, so let me check. Uh... No, I don't. So I have to go buy some red onion real quick to start this shiny hunting. So we'll go here, go get some red onion, and just go from there, chat. Because uh, like I said, we do have enough time to at least do one sandwich day. Then I'm going to hop off, get ready for Danielle's stuff, and uh, also give me something to drink because I'm out of Cokes right now. So definitely need something to drink. I need some Powerade. All right. So, because I've gone literally this entire time without having anything to drink. Martin says, I'm 50 away now from completing the decks. Nice, bro. Very, very nice. Well, it's going to be uh 47 after I give you this wax, see, my guy. Okay, so let's see. There we go. There's our red onion. Yep. Pay with cash. All right, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to Lavencia and then hopefully get ourselves a shiny Sandy Gas. I hope this works. I think this is maybe one of the better spots. I know he spawns on the beaches, um, <clears throat> but I'm not sure if this is the best spot for him or not. If we get him, awesome. Another one to add to the collection. If not, it is absolutely no worries at all. Okay, so we're going to do it over here, throw down our save real quick, get up our picnic, and go from there. Uh, Mart says, I can't find that fucking Apple Dragon Pokemon thing. Oh, Apple, and yeah, that one for me was also kind of a, uh, kind of a pain in the ass, unfortunately, to find. Um, <clears throat> luckily, uh, Danielle gave them to me, so thank God for her. Nigel says, sweet, I'm like 120 uh, 20 away myself. Very nice, Nigel. Very, very nice, bro. All right. So we got that. Two of red onions, one green pepper, one hamburger, and then two Herba Mystica. So let's hope we get one, chat. All right. God, this is going to have a lot of onions on it. We're going to need some uh, mouthwash after this sandwich. Sam says, look at the tree. Yeah, yeah, trees are the best spot to uh, try to find them, uh, without a doubt. Uh, typically, the areas that he's into, you kind of have to keep an eye out because you can find Zoror instead of Appalin, unfortunately. He's um, he's kind of a pain in the ass to obtain. Like, I got mine through raids when I was doing it on Scarlet, and on Violet, it was thanks to Danielle. Good God, that's so many onions. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put that on there. Throw that bread, because we don't need that. And then, boom. 
Uh, Martin says, spent 25 minutes before looking for him. And uh, Martin also says, Nigel, nice, bro. Yeah, Nigel's been working really, really hard in his decks, too. And he's trying to get the uh, shiny charm before he actually completes the game, which I believe he can, in fact, do that. He's so, so close. Alright, sweet. Spicy. Alright, sweet. Make sure we got our encounter. We do. Alright, sweet. So let's hope we get our shiny black sandy ghast. Alright, so yeah. We're going to look at this beach as well as the other one in hopes to uh, get him. I didn't see him spawn in too much. Okay, now he's spawning in. There we go. So his is super easy to spawn in. He is a black sand color. <clears throat> Like I said, this will be the only one that we have time for to do today because I have to do uh, I have to get ready for Danielle's session as well as uh, a couple things that I have to get done before uh, we start. I pretty much just grab something to eat really quick and uh, definitely get something to drink because I am so thirsty. Like I said, I'm out of Cokes right now, unfortunately, so I have to go get some one day. Uh, Martin says, yeah, he definitely got, oh yeah, without a doubt, dude, he's been working super, super hard on it. Like, you both got this, without a doubt. And you know for a fact, the community here is always here to help you guys out where we can. <clears throat> okay. Um, and in fact, when I actually move those Pokemon over... To a box, I'm gonna make a new box that's just called Danielle's TikTok or TT. Danielle's TT. Like, I'll know what that means. So that way, I'll be good and ready for that and instead of having it in one of our giveaway boxes for uh, stuff from my page and everything like that. So we'll definitely get that out for her. <clears throat> okay. So again, we're looking for him as a black. Sandy Boy, which he's a very cool shiny, without a doubt. Hit both him and his evolution. So if we end up getting two, then we will have his entire evolutionary line done, because I have never had him shiny before. So maybe our shiny look that was consistent throughout last week will still be good for us this week. Byron's laughing at Daniel's TT. Dude, like, because it doesn't give me enough letters, so, alright. So that's why. <laughs> oh, good God. But yeah, I'm gonna name it Daniel's TT. <laughs> that, the way that sounded when you said it. Yeah, I knew the way it sounded. It sounded so much better in my head, but it did not come out good outside of that. Oh, good God. Uh, but yeah, but like I said, that, uh, will not, uh, those Pokemon will not be given away until for, until her, uh, TikTok thing, which will not be until Wednesday, everybody, so bear that in mind. And then, of course... I'm going to talk to Angel later today as well um, <clears throat> to see uh, what Pokemon we should make it. So if you guys hatch it, you get a little bit of a bonus prize as well. Because that was a ton of fun to do uh, Sunday. Like that was, Again, that was her idea. That was literally a last minute idea that she had. And I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. We'll definitely do it. Because again, I value your guys' opinions, my mod's opinions. Uh, my friends and you guys out there for the community, I value your opinions as well. All right. So let's see. No to any of him yet. Luckily, like I said, he's very, very easy to spot shiny. So maybe our shiny look from last week will still hold up for this week. Because we ended up getting so, so many shinies yes, uh, last week. And I even got Danielle to admit that I'm probably one of the best shiny hunters that she knows. 
Even though, for some reason, usually my luck uh, for a while was just straight up garbage. Like, it was just straight up garbage. Uh, now just says, yeah, the Pokemon egg hunt was a lot of fun. Hey, dude, I, I loved it. I loved it. So my props to her, dude. Like, like I said, that was all her idea for it. Martin says, can we have a box for Daniel's TT? God damn it. Ah, the words I say. I forgot. I gotta watch what I say sometimes because you guys can be a little smart asses. <laughs> oh, good God. But yeah, Marvin, we're gonna have a box full of Danielle's TTs and her and her PPs. Oh, good God. Alrighty. So let's see if our shiny... I'm really hoping our shiny luck continues because... I would definitely love to have him as a shiny. He's, a, he's such a cool Pokemon. Oh, we got Martin laughing now, dude. Oh, God. Like I said, I gotta watch what I say. Daniel's damn it, you got... Dude, that's my fault, Daniel. I messed up. I said something that was meant to be serious, and it ended up being a joke. But yeah, uh, and Danielle, if you would, uh, go ahead and please post both your Facebook as well as your TikTok uh, account. And again, Danielle always has full permission here, guys. I always try my best to self-promote. Uh, not self-promote myself, but promote my friends. Self-promote self wouldn't be the correct word about it, but yeah. I always try to promote my friends uh, as opposed to myself because I want to give them as much attention as I possibly can because they do a lot for me, guys. Barn says, I keep trying to warn you about your phrasing. To God damn it, Nigel. Uh, and I did not call myself the D word on Danielle's uh, TikTok stream. Like I said, you guys are just uh, going senile. You, you lose in your minds. Like, uh, so I was hacked, you know. The typical, like, uh, what is it? When somebody, like, on a YouTube, uh, like a YouTuber or something like that, says something uh, messed up that gets dug up, they're like, oh, that wasn't me, guys. Like, uh, I was hacked. Like, yeah, yeah, sure you fucking were. Sure. All right. We still don't have our Sandy Gas yet, but I believe in us. Who else believes in us that we're going to get him today? Oh, goodness. Come on. Come on, Sandy Guest. Show up shiny for us, dude. Uh, Martin says, one of these days I'm going to give you a... Nah, dude. Nah. Like I said, smart assery. Perfectly fine. I fucking love that. I love people being smart asses. It's like if somebody's just... You know, I can tell the difference with someone's being a smart ass and an asshole. Like, smart asses... Always, always welcome here because I'm a smart ass. Like, without a doubt. You guys have seen it. Um, it's just, you know, people that are just straight up asses. Like, those are the kind of people we don't want around here. Uh, Simon says you could do Hey, much love to you, Simon. Much, much love to you, bro. I'm hoping we get him. Uh, so far, I'm not feeling too, too confident in him. But who knows? We might be able to get him. Like I said, I don't know if there's any other good spots uh, for him right now uh, to Shiny Hunt, but I did I did remember it was the beaches. Because uh, I know, if I remember correctly, he's not in the desert. I get to keep my Shiny title, chat. Let's fucking go. We got him. Let's see, it was Simon right there who believed in us that we were able to get our black sand pile, and we caught him. Critical capture. There we go. Hell yes. Our shiny luck continues, chat. We're going to try to get another one. Uh, because I'm a greedy little bastard. Uh, Mark says, can I promote my... No, no you can't promote that. <laughs> you can't promote that, Martin. <laughs> Oh, goodness. We got him quick. Uh, we got him within nine minutes of this hunt. So, hell yeah. Simon says, GG's. Much love to you, Simon. Martin says, let's fucking go. Much love to you, too, Martin. 
Oh, goodness gracious. Like I said, our luck has been absolutely in fucking sane. Nigel with the clip. Much love to you, Nigel. And Martin with the clip as well. And I, right as I'm saying, like, I'm not feeling too confident in this one. We get our beautiful black Sandy Guys. Such a cool Pokemon to have shiny. I love the black shinies. Black and blue shinies are probably two of my favorite ones so far. And like I said, I've never had him shiny before, so it was definitely, definitely worth getting him. Uh, Martin says, God, girl! <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, at this point, we might as well just go for everything shiny. Like, I have a full shiny living decks because, you know, why not? Because our luck has been super, super insane lately. Uh, goodness. Sam says he's in the desert, too. Oh, is he? I never have seen him in the desert. I knew he was at the beach. I just don't recall seeing him at the desert. But we got him, Sam. We definitely got him already. Uh, it's just, I would like to get another one, uh, just for the fact that we can, po if we get another one, that we'll have his entire line done for Shiny, which his, uh, Evolution Shiny is also, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, a very cool Black Shiny. Because, like I said, Black Shinies like, uh, Charizard, Greninja, P uh, Pilosan, Haxorus, uh, those type of Pokemon, like, they are so, so great. To have shiny in the collection. Uh, Martin says, I can't find anywhere I can promote it. Uh, try Twitter. T try Twitter, man. Uh, good God, Martin. Alright, so let's see if we can get another one. Because if we get another one, then uh, if we still have some time left, I will go see... Uh, who else has a ghost-type Pokemon that we could possibly shiny hunt for with the sandwich? But either way, even if we don't get another one, I am just happy that we got this one right here. Because he is brand new. He's brand new, and he's super, super cool to have shiny. Uh, like I said, I don't know what's been up with our luck lately. Maybe it's our good karma finally paying off, guys. That is allowing me to come in here during our shiny hunting sessions of uh, the stream and being able to get them. Uh, Nigel says, are there enough boxes to have a full living day? Oh yeah, absolutely, dude. You get uh, 32 boxes, which each box can hold uh, 30 Pokemon, so that's what, 3,200 Pokemon if I'm not mistaken? Uh, if my math is correct, so yeah, you can definitely have a full shiny living day. Of course, like, there's some Pokemon that I can't get shiny. Danielle says these nuts. Of course you would, Danielle. Uh, Mart says, I don't have Twitter. I'll just have to keep it to myself, I guess. I guess you will, man. Eventually, one day, you'll find somebody who will definitely want to promote that, like, huh, that guy has a nice penis. I want to promote that. <laughs> oh, good God. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, goodness. But like I said, like I told you guys, he was super easy to spot for us. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm, I'm just pretty much at this point going for who I personally would love to uh, shiny hunt for. Uh, Byron says, I think there are like 32 boxes. Yeah, there are 32 boxes, Byron. Yes, you are correct, man. 32 boxes in the game, so that is definitely enough for a uh, shiny uh, living dex for this one. Of course... They're Pokemon that you obviously can't get shiny unless you hack the game right now, because we'll probably get them through codes and events uh, later on through the game's life. Daniel says, 30 times 32 is not... Uh, oops, I'm not good at math. All right, thanks, Danielle. Uh, nobody go back and uh, nobody would go back and quote me why. Like, uh, Martin says his, in his mouth, ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, Byron says, I was gonna say, I don't know where you got that number, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of stupid. What is that? Oh, it's size of the car. I was wondering what that was. I'm kind of stupid. Nigel clipped that. Of course you did, Nigel. <laughs> Oops. Like I said, kind of dumb, guys. So, yeah, I'm dumb, but I'm lovable. Oh, goodness. Daniels, where the fuck you get to that stuff? First of all, I said 3,200, and second of all, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Alright. 
Like I said, I'm just dumb. Oh, goodness. I already know what Danielle's gonna roast me for today for her session. Oh, good God. Get away from me, non shiny boy. Let's see. Oh, goodness. So, like I said, I'm hoping to get another uh, Sandy Gas. So that way we can uh, have both of them. Uh, both him and his evolution shiny. And so that way that line is done. <laughs> Not just in the clip that you promoting penis. Well, I damn it. I gotta watch it. I gotta watch what I say around you guys. I forget this stuff is live and I can't just go and edit it out or anything like that. Like, nah, this is all live. So anytime I mess up with my uh, words. <laughs> God damn it, Byron Byron says, 30, uh, 30 times 32, 3,200, duh. All right, Byron, you made your point. Byron says, I need you to do my wages, bro. Well, apparently this is not bad at math. I don't think you want, uh, since I just messed up a basic math thing right there, I don't think you want me to uh, do any kind of bookkeeping for you. Oh, good God. I, I, all right, guys, you, you made your point. I messed up. Oh, uh, that is my bad. Like I said, I already know what the topic of today's session is going to be. And it's probably going to make me go into a rant for Danielle's. Oh, goodness. So, yeah. So far, we haven't gotten lucky with our second one yet. But if we don't, hey, we got one. So, I'm happy for that, at the very, very least. See, no to those two. Nothing over here. Uh, no to that one, and no to that one. Yeah, because I remember um when it came to Marini that we did the other day. Um, we definitely needed to do the shiny sandwich because we even with the outbreak, we just did not uh get all that many spawning in. So using the sandwich method that uh was. Bow down to me, chat. We got our second one. Hell yeah, we're done with this line now. We got two of them. Ooh, I thought we were gonna get... Martin says, I probably just don't get more than I earn. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Martin says, let's fucking go. Much love to you, Martin. Oh, like I said, our luck for these shiny odds has been insane. I kind of want to get them in a black ball just to color code it, because why the hell not? If not... Uh, after a little bit, I will use uh, just a repeat ball. All right. So let's go ahead and throw our repeat, or our luxury ball, not our repeat ball, because there we go. Critical capture. He's ours. There we go. Byron is bo bowing down. Ba Byron is bowing down. <laughs> Daniel says, I'm not bowing this shit. <laughs> Uh, Danielle, I I don't need you to bow down, Danielle, because I did get you to admit I'm probably one of the best shiny hunters, you know. All right, we still got 12 minutes. We still got 12 minutes, so let's see. Uh, who is another ghost Pokemon we could go for really quick? It's daytime, unfortunately. Is that ghost? I can't honestly remember. Okay, yeah, we'll go for another Fluttermane, because why not? We've gotten super lucky with them. If I get another one, and then I can give it to somebody who needs one, so... Why the hell not? All right, so let's go down here. Then we're going to go to the cave and go from there. Because we got our two that we need. Uh, Martin says, GG's. Much love to you, Martin. And Nigel with the clip as well. Much love to you, Nigel. Yes, so we got our two right there. And we've officially been live for three and a half hours, everybody. Ah, uh, so awesome. We got the Sandy Guest. And we're going to evolve one of them here on stream after we uh after the sandwich. And just kind of go from there. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a save once we get out of here. Just in case the game decides to go all funky on us, because I kind of don't want a shiny hunt for the same Pokemon again. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. So probably for tomorrow's session, we will go after Jeffrey the Giraffe right there. And shiny, because some, some of you guys suggested him, so yeah, we'll definitely, definitely try him. Alright, so we got 
both of them, so now we are going to go for Fluttermane once again, which should appear down here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if not, then we will go to our uh, regular area that we go down here. Because uh, I have gotten him shiny two times down here before, so I, I've gotten him at least four or five times shiny. All right, so let's kind of run with it just in case. Let's see. Because, yeah, I'm not seeing anything pop up right here. Once we get down here, we'll have a better idea. Yeah, no, so we're going to go back up then. Because we can also possibly get... uh. Another Sableye or the Ghost Doggo Shiny. So we have a possibility of getting them as well. Which, if we get Ghost Doggo Shiny, then we are going to have to uh, get two of them. Because the second one is not great Shiny. So we're going to go to where like we do Roaring Moon and everything like that. So let's go over here and just go from there. But either way, if we don't get anything else Shiny, we ended up getting two Shinies for this session. Which I am super, super thrilled about. As long as it's not Venomoth again, I don't need Venomoth. Or Screen Fell. Because uh, I was like, Shiny Hunting for something new that we don't have. Uh, I already have Sableye, of course. Um, and I already have Fluttermane, so it would really be nice to get... I don't know, um... The Doggo, I guess. The Doggo would be pretty, pretty sweet to get. Because he does spawn down here. Okay, right, so we got Sableye. I don't know why we're getting Palmy and Palmo down here. They're not ghost type. Alright, so let's see if these doggos will come out from the grave. So none of them. Let's see. No to those two. Hoo hoo. Alright. So like I said, we're just going to hunt down here for a little bit until the sandwich runs out and just kind of go from there because I don't need a third Sandy Ghast right now. But we will evolve him before we end today's session. Okay. And then like I said, once uh, the sandwich is up and I evolve uh, Sandy Ghast, we are going to Call it a day, everybody. Okay, so no to the puppers. No to any of those boys. Ah, Espeon. How I miss you, Shiny, right now. <laughs> uh, I'll get Espeon again one day. But we might Shiny hunt for him, because if I remember correctly, I was not streaming the day I caught him. I was, however, on Danielle's page, so I don't think I was streaming myself when I caught that one and gave it to her. Okay, so no to any of those, which is alright. Surprise Fluttermane has not appeared down here, but I guess it's because we've done Fairy before, as opposed to Ghost. But either way, that is perfectly fine. Alright, so let's go up here. So no to any of these boys. Because like I said, I'm not going for a full shiny decks um, for Pokemon. I primarily go for like what I personally like when it comes to shiny hunts. But also, you guys make some really good suggestions as well. So tomorrow we'll definitely do Jeffrey the Giraffe. Um forum and then later on I will see what you guys also would like to see shiny hunt to see if we can't get it. Uh Nigel says we need more Eeveelution. I agree. I, I was really, really hoping that this generation we would get a new Eeveelution. But unfortunately we have not got one in it's in ten years. Uh Sylveon was the last one that we got, which was ten years ago this year. Uh, Martin says, can you get a shiny Jigglypuff? I've never seen that one. Oh, uh, yeah, I could de definitely try for him. The only difference for him, uh, Martin, is his eye color is, um, green instead of blue. So it's not too great of a shiny, but yeah, I could totally try him one day for you, man. 
I just have to find a um I just have to uh try a um to find an area where he spawns in and kinda hopefully go from there. Uh Nigel says only the eyes are different, but yeah, you are correct. Only the eyes are different color. Colton says they should be bringing one when DLC comes out. I I really wish that was true, man. Like I would love to have some new evolutions because like Imagine having an evolution for each type. That would be sick. Without a doubt. Okay, so no to any of those puppers. Hey, other pupper, you want to come out? No to any of those. Uh, Sue says, I hate they only give you three minutes to shiny hunt dusk uh, farm. Uh, like in the... Uh, uh, I actually don't even know where to get him right now in the game, uh, Sue. Uh, I know a community member, uh, he did post in our Discord where I can go shiny hunt for him, so that is one I would really actually not mind shiny hunting one day, would be him. Uh, Martin says, I've just never seen one, that's why I asked. Oh, no, dude, dude, you are good, Martin. Like I said, I take your guys' considerations into effect as well, so if you want me to go shiny hunt for him one day, then yeah, man, I'll go shiny hunt for him. There's no worries. As long as I have the right material, we can totally go for him because like i said i would like to have um i would uh in fact uh like to have like every kanto pokemon shiny like that is a goal of mine to get one day and i don't know how close i am for it i would legitimately have to look but that'd be really awesome so he says i want a ghost eevee uh i i do uh dude, ghost eevee would be cool i would love to see a dragon type eevee a dragon type would be really really cool because we still have Ground type, uh, rock type, um, ghost dragon. Oh, uh, god, there's so many different types. Steel, we haven't got a steel type EV yet. A normal type, hear me out, a normal evolution, like EV just evolving into a normal type. That'd be kind of cool, too, to me. Uh, Sue so said, I can post in your Discord if you want. Yeah, go ahead, Sue. You are more what Discord is for everybody, dude. The Discord is forever. Plus, you never know. Uh, fighting, yeah, that's another one. Plus, you never know. Somebody could be wanting to shiny out for him as well, but don't they don't know the location. So, yeah, feel free, Sue. Alright, so no to him. So, like I said, if we get something down here, awesome. If not, hey, that's fine because we got our big prizes today, without a doubt. So, yeah, there's a lot of different types that... Uh, Eevee could have poison. That's another one. I forgot about poison for a second. Flying type. Uh, like I said, there's so, so many different evolutions that we can have. Hey, what's up, Mitchell? Mitchell says, Danielle, you still here? Uh, she might. She might be lurking. Bug. Yep, bug. That's another one, Nigel. You are absolutely correct. And plus, if we got some new evolutions, it would give Danielle here uh motivation to go and shiny hunt for some more EVs. Cause I, I I think Game Freak knows at this point like how much we Pokemon players love the evolutions and would just like uh absolutely love to have like some uh more evolution Pokemon without doubt. Okay, so no to any of those guys. What about you? No, no to the puppers. Uh, Martin says we need uh, we need Toka in the game. Well, what do you mean, Martin? I don't understand. Hello, phone. Okay, I was wondering what that was. I had it was a notification. All right, now we're good. We're good. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that would be really cool. Because I've seen some really cool fan artwork of uh, different evolutions uh, that I personally think look really, really nice. Like, uh, they're fan made ones, obviously, but they still look really, really cool, without a doubt. Like, uh, I saw one that was a, uh, that was a uh, poison typing, for example, uh, and a dragon type. The dragon type looked really, really cool. To me the fan art my phone is going off like crazy again um but either way like yeah that would be super super interesting to have for uh these pokemon games all 
Alright. So like I said, we're almost done for today's session. But either way, it's been a great session. I've had a lot of fun, like I always do with you guys. And like I said, if you haven't yet, make sure you guys go follow Danielle over on TikTok, as well as uh, come check us out later on her uh, stream here on Facebook later. It's going to be a ton of fun, guys. Yours truly will be here. Mitchell will be there as well. And uh, yeah, we'll just have some laughs, read you guys' comments, and just kind of go from there. She's probably going to make fun of my math uh, skills, for sure. But either way, it is perfectly fine, as long as we are all having fun. Uh, Sue says, I just post on there. Alright, sweet Sue, sweet. I'll definitely check it out so I can go see where to uh, start shiny hunting for him. Because I don't think I have him shiny in this game. I don't think I have a rock rough yet. In fact, I'm like 95% sure I do not have one yet. But either way, I will definitely go try to shiny out for him one day. Uh, How much time do we got left? We got 30 seconds. Okay, so yeah. We're almost done, guys. We were almost done. Uh, do we have a link for her Facebook? Um, I if if Danielle, Danielle, if you are still watching, if you can, please post your Facebook gaming page here. If not, I will get it in just a second, Nigel. So give me one second, dude, and I will get it. Uh, Mitchell says, I think we're going to do some college games. Yeah, 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 that's what she said she wants to do is, uh, multiplayer, but I'll still be there and for the call and everything like that, Mitchell. I'll have to call up in a little bit, bro, if you want to chat beforehand, but I just got a couple things I got to go do real quick, and then, uh, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to organize my messy, messy boxes. All right, so I believe that, well, yeah, that was the end of our sandwich, so let's go back up to the surface, evolve our sand boy, and go from there. Sue says, I got two extra forms if anyone wants. Hey, much love to you, Sue. Much love to you. Alright, so let me see if I can get... Uh, I think it's in my Discord. I'm not too terribly sure. No, it is not. Um... What about... Hey, she sent to me on new uh mitchell if oh there we go there we go danielle is still here sam what's the like thank you sam danielle uh please post your facebook uh page in the comments for us um martin says sorry i meant token okay that's what you meant that's what because i i had no idea what you meant right there i was so confused no you're good uh i I'm uh surprised that uh I uh, not really because they've they've had Tokopi for a little bit so let me go ahead and start actually uh uh we'll keep the female one uh that and we'll level up the male uh Mitchell said uh Mitchell says yeah I might throw up my stream as well should I throw a stream up to Blake yeah go for it man you can post your you can post your uh thing I'm fine with that. Yes, so guys, that uh, right there, where Danielle's comment is, that is the link to her page, guys. So if you guys can, go make sure to follow it, because that is where we are going to be live. And Mitchell here is going to be on his Twitch account. So yeah. Uh, Mitchell says, okay, what's your ET? Uh, probably like an hour or so, Mitchell. Uh, what am I trying to find? Level up stuff. Level up stuff. That's right. XP. XP, that's what I was looking for. Alright, so let's go ahead and use one. Uh, cause I... No, cause they're just gonna be, uh... <gasps> shiny and stuck in the box. Until I can, uh, get ready for, uh... Unless I ever decide to actually use one. For it. So let's go ahead and use another one. Uh, I... Don't remember, like, uh... I don't remember what level he is to fully level up. Uh, Daniel says, I get off in an hour, then I gotta get Izzy off of the bus. Yeah, she has to get the kid off the bus. So it's probably gonna be about, mm, about an hour 20-ish minutes. Sandy Guest is evolving, so yes. So we are officially done with this line for Shinies, guys. Look how cool that looks. That is such a good Pokemon. Oh, we got Pilot Sand. Hell yeah. 
Oh, goodness. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save again. And then I'm going to give everybody a minute because uh, I believe Mitchell is going to post his. And then we are just going to go from there. So, yeah, we are pretty much done with that. But again, guys, that is Danielle. Uh, the little link that she posted in the comment uh, that she did earlier about Mitchell's, that is her page. So make sure to go follow it, guys, so we can uh, just get you guys there and have some fun with it. Because, like I said, tomorrow will be her TikTok, in which we will be giving away these Pokemon. And also, uh, today will be a Call of Duty session for her Facebook. And also, Mitchell will be doing his over on the purple side. Which, Mitchell, yes, you have permission to uh, post yours, my man. But yeah, we'll find something, too, tomorrow, guys, to uh, Shiny Hunt. Uh, some people said Giraffe Rig. Uh, Martin here suggested Jigglypuff just because he hasn't seen it shiny yet, which wouldn't be bad because, again, I want to get all the uh, Kanto Pokemon shiny. I just got to find a good spot for uh, Jigglypuff, without a doubt, uh, for this game. Uh, the draft, obviously, like, we would go to Area Zero to find him shiny. Uh, trying to think who else could we go get shiny tomorrow. I really, really, really don't know who else we could get. But yeah, all right. So we are, like I said, we're pretty much, we are done with the game today. I'm um, just giving it a minute so that way Mitchell can um, post his, uh, post his uh, purple side stuff if he wants to. And just kind of go from there, guys. But again. That is Danielle's. Uh, I'll go ahead and pin it really quick while we have a minute. So there we go. So yeah, Danielle's is pinned, guys. Uh, I definitely need to get the link for that later. So that way when you guys ask me, I can just have it up and to ready to go. And everything like that. Oh, goodness. But I would say, very successful day today. We got... At least one piece of Urban Mystica. A lot of five stars today, but just not many, just not much Urban Mystica, unfortunately. Which is a damn shame. But it's either we get, uh, it's either we get very few five stars and we get, uh, a ton of Urban Mystica from there, or we get a ton of five stars, but hardly any Urban Mystica. Oh, goodness. Let's see. All right. Okay, so yeah, I got your area that you, uh, I got your area that you want, uh, Sue, but all right, for Lucario, but all right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cut today's stream, uh, once again, thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your follows, and your stars, it is much, much appreciated, we'll be back live over on Danielle stuff in about, about an hour 20-ish, maybe, so, Keep an eye out for that. Uh, Martin says, I can't get any of her. <laughs> Dude, I've, I've been having trouble with it as well, my man. Uh, she's going to be playing Call of Duty. And then Wednesday, as you guys know, as I've said before, we will be giving out shiny Pokemon over on her TikTok. So make sure to catch us there, guys. <laughs> God damn it. I'll see you later, Nigel. Uh, Simon says, okay, see you tomorrow. All right, much love to you, Simon. But all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut the stream. But always, always, always remember this, guys. Stay awesome and stay positive. Bye, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.